All right, I have to talk to you. There's nothing to talk about. Why don't you tell Takumi about Oyamada? All right, let's do this. Oh, fine. I'll go to you. So you wait. So wait there. So, what did you need to talk about? I thought I asked you not to come back here. Hey! Oh! Oh, she just shows up! Oh, sweet! We don't even have to say anything! Oh, doctor, doctor, and you too! Yes? I wanted to speak with you right away. Oh, wait, 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 wait. This is, this is a different girl. I'm sorry, this is a completely different girl. That's right, that's right. No, this is the one that came in. We were, we were helping her talk about stuff that was with regards to her origins. Sorry guys, starting the stream, my head's, my head's got, my head got bonked, you know, off stream, you know. The hospital that was on the news is the same one you used to work at, right? The hospital on the news? Oh dear, I'm afraid everyone was thinking the same thing. But I knew you weren't capable of doing those terrible things. What is it? What's going on? Oh my, you really don't know, do you? Chief of Staff Oyamata turned himself in. He was manipulating things behind the scenes. Turns out he was the one who made that terrible medical error and laid the blame on his subordinate. Huh? Is, is that true? It's been on news channels all over the country. I haven't seen it. I just knew something didn't quite add up about that story. I never believed someone like you could have ever done something like that. Hooray, doctor! But what's a medical error? What? Uh, um, it's something that shouldn't be allowed to happen, I guess. Oh. What's the meaning of this? Is this all some elaborate joke? Oyamata surrendering himself at such a convenient time? Why? It doesn't matter. It's too late. It doesn't change the fact that I couldn't save her. Yeah. Niwachan is alive. What? What? There's no way. Wait. Did the news what? mention anything about the patient involved in the medical error incident? Oh, it must have been difficult for her too. I heard she's been moved to another hospital. Oh. Oh, she's going to cry. She's just going to be like, I, I, oh, what's the matter, dear? Are you okay, doctor? I see. So she's, she's alive. Yeah. Let's get to work, doctor. Mm -hmm. Yes, of course. Oh, critical hit to the feels indeed. You'll help me, right? I take back what I said. We'll resume development right away. Feels like my bond with Takumi is growing even deeper. No! Oh. No! Oh. Rank 8! Let's right. go! Sorry. We're going to move quickly today, so you may experience some pain during the examination. Sorry, just hang in there, okay? Hell yeah. Whoa, 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 uh, whoa, hmm. Oh, wait, huh, hmm. <laughs> hmm. Well, <laughs> Imiwa-chan or for you? Hmm. It's for you seems a bit early, you know. She hasn't expressed feelings, you know, right? We go for this. But I mean, Takami would definitely clear the bar, you know. <laughs> no, it's for Miwa-chan. It's for Miwa-chan. Yeah. Yeah. Thanks. Thank you. You're a good guy. Once the medicine is perfected, I'll introduce you to Miwa-chan and tell her how much you helped. There we go. We got a rank up, though. All right. Into the examination room you go. I feel like cooperating in that shady clinical trial has increased my guts. Hell yeah. Take oh, cool. care. That's all for today. Take care. All right. We're set for the rank up. We got bonus guts. Okay. Oh, hey. Any change in your condition after that last one? I pushed your way too hard today. I Really, I'm sorry. But I won't waste the opportunity you're giving me. We're going to make up for our lost time. God, what was wrong with me? I can't believe I spent all the time moping. Feeling sorry for myself. Miwa-chan was fighting all that time. I have to fight for her too. 
Alright. Yeah. Don't burn yourself out. I can't afford to slow down. No more crying because I ran out of time. We're so close to making this drug work. I just have to perfect it. Anyways, get some good rest today. Remember, you can call me anytime. Okay, good night. Hmm. We'll be parting ways tomorrow. I pray both trips go safely. Thank you. Take care of yourself, Yusuke. And Futaba will be relying on you for the analysis. Leave it to me. Just let us know if anything comes up, okay? A-okay. Then off we go. Looking after Morgana for us, or look after Morgana for us. Have a nice trip. <sighs> you guys are all talking about that. You guys are all still, you guys are still talking about that trip. How are you? You're taking off, huh? Yeah, we are. Aw. Don't go cutting loose just because I'm not there to keep an eye on you. Oh, we could never. I'll look after Futaba and the cat while you're gone. You owe me one. Okay. We owe him one. We'll talk more about our next job once we get back. Oh, are you salty that you're not coming? Can't wait. Good. <laughs> ah! So sleepy. The airport. It'll take over six hours to get there, so why not sleep on the plane? Uh, some people can't do that, Makoto. I'll do that. Oh, it's almost time to check in. <sighs> Looks like it's gonna take off on time. I feel like a lot of flights headed to America tend to run late or get canceled. Ah, oh, okay. Is it just me or is Ryuji not here yet? Oh no. Ah. Oh. Did he get stuck in security? Oh, here he is. I wasn't expecting to make a mad dash like this. <laughs> Coming late even on a day like this? Damn. That's all you're bringing. Well, it's only four nights, right? Ain't it enough? <laughs> I mean, uh, yeah, mm. Yeah, it'll be fun either way. Yeah, that. Well, I guess so. <laughs> hey guys, they will hey! gather near the boarding gate soon. Mishima, I don't know why I forgot that you'd be coming. That's this is really why dumb don't of we me. Take a group shot before we take off. Yeah, yeah, picture oh, time. So yes, I, I love this. I love this so much. You be our cameraman, okay? Absolutely. Let me join in too. Oh. You too, Makoto. All right. All right. Everyone fit? Come on, hurry up. Hey. Let me see. Let me hey. See. hey. We we can't even see us with our fucking glasses on, reflecting the light and everything. Oh. Oh. Getting text. Ryuji, you've got crap in your eyes. What? Huh? Huh? Holy shit, she's right. Damn. <laughs> Immediately you... saw the photo. You surprised? I snuck an app on Crispy's phone. I can see all I want through his camera. You're looking now. You're looking now, right, Crispy? <laughs> you can't underestimate the original Medjed. Talk about a nasty <laughs> Yeah, it's kind of creepy, honestly. But it's just the uh, the, uh, the fact that, you know, she can do it. You know. <laughs> mm. There's a whole bunch of things that she's going to be aware of. <laughs> I'm so glad she's not an enemy of ours. Mm-hmm. Okay. Hey! Ryuji is me! He just like me for real! <laughs> Saying that was amazing. <laughs> Hawaii. I love it. The 
tropical air. Hi, Aloha. Aloha. You can find your buses Whoa. that way. Cool. Damn, you speak Japanese? <laughs> Whoa, I see it. The diamond thing. Oh man, the ocean is so blue. <laughs> Wow, yep. Of course that's their tour bus. Of course it is. But yep, that's Hawaii. That that that's actually yeah, that's Hawaii. Yes, we're here! Hawaii! <laughs> This fucking goober, I love him. I am so embarrassed. <laughs> oh, is this the smell of Hawaii? Actually, I've been wondering since the airport, but uh, what is this smell? Oh. Supposedly the lingering scent of carpet cleaner. It's coconut scented. Okay. Plus, I'd say the scent of plumeria for the lays are amplifying the tropical atmosphere here. <laughs> what are you, the king of random facts? He's someone that Googled uh, Hawaii before coming here, you know? The yep. That likes to look up stuff beforehand. Uh, yep. Exactly. Case in point. Then uh, tell me a cheap but good place to eat. <gasps> oh wait, 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 wait. Are they gonna have the crazy like gravy burger egg thing that you get at Hawaii? It's like Hawaii's like fast food but like fun college dish. Loco moco or moco loco. Yeah, 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 yeah. Do that after we figured out room assignments. We can't go out until we get our keys. Ryuji would flip a lid if he saw that stuff. I want a room with this guy. Uh, you belong to a different Hey! Place, she was able to come. Okay. I can't. It complicates roll call. Everyone butts you out after all. Cool. I bet there aren't many people who'd be okay rooming with you. <laughs> Shut up. We both stick out like a sore thumb, you know. Takamaki-san, have you decided on which room to stay in? No, not yet. In that case, how about rooming with me? Okay. And nice. And if it's okay with you, do you want to walk around together once we're free to go about? We've never gone overseas before, so we yeah. can be reassuring if we add someone who knows English. Oh no, our translator is abandoning us. Oh no. Oh, sure, of course. Well, see you guys later. Oh, come on, can you just hurry up and make your decision? Okay, I choose you, Kawakami. I swear. I I'm 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 willing to throw it all away. I'll abandon the harem and everything. I I, I choose you, Kawakami. That that yep. Yeah, mm -hmm. I'll do it. I'll do it. I swear. Is it okay if I room with you? Uh, yeah, yeah. Oh, uh, yeah, that's fine. Yeah. It's decided then. <laughs> anyway, don't do anything stupid, okay? This isn't Japan, you know. Cool. So this is Waikiki. Yeah. Well, there sure are a ton of people here. Oh yeah, goaded game. We're just getting another beach episode casually. And a lot of tall buildings like hotels. Yeah, I mean, tourism over here is like it's the entire island's industry basically. Like like it's it's crazy how like like the cost of specific things are like skewed ridiculously expensive in Hawaii and other things are like oh, that that's really cheap. It's it's funny how that works. It's a little too clean here. Feels like an artificial resort. Still, look how clear the ocean is. The palm trees definitely give off a tropical vibe, too. I thought On was pretty impressive, but compared to the foreign ladies? Nah. <laughs> Holy shit! Bro, you did not! Then stop looking! You think so too, don't you? Like, these ladies are massive, unlike the girls in Japan. <laughs> I mean, <laughs> I mean, it is the U.S. We're gonna be massive. I mean, that, that's just the way it is. I mean, mm, yeah, I, I, I guess so. Yeah. 
I know, right? Moving on. Yeah. Take mm -hmm. a look over there. Isn't that Diamond Head? Oh, I saw it from the bus too. Oh, I don't even know what Diamond Head is. But why is it called that? Are diamonds a local product? Wouldn't it say online? Ah, there we go. Wait, people long ago mistook volcanic rock for it? A F? <laughs> Might as well look up recommended places in Waikiki too. Oh, right. I wanted to eat pancakes. Yeah. I wonder if there are any online recommendations of scenic spots. So many, but the tours are going to be booked like crazy. We should check for cheap and popular restaurants then. We're getting closer to it. We're on our phones and chatting. This is no <laughs> different from when we're in Japan. Boomer Makoto take. <laughs> Even if we're overseas, we can see all the news in Japan if we got our phones. Where did An get her phone from? Don't question. Don't question shit like that. Clearly, clearly, as her boyfriend, we're keeping it in our thick, deep, manly pockets. I don't know why you even had to question that. Like, that, that's, that's clearly where it was. Clearly. Clearly. It's like, ugh, this ain't what I was expecting. We should do something that's more Hawaii-like. What's... Hawaii -like. <gasps> That's right, we're Makoto's fake boyfriend right now, so we're also holding on to Makoto's phone. And the thing is, Makoto is a big brain and is like, I'll tell him I need him as a fake boyfriend, but I need him to up his charm. And then I'll never let him off the hook for that, so he'll keep trying to charm me and be more impressive. And he'll pretend to be my fake boyfriend the whole while and then just never, never let him go. Hula dancing? Uh-uh, I ain't down for that. <laughs> a luau. That'd be fun. We can finally take a breather. Okay, we just dip, ditched our friends, okay. Oh, by the way, you know how the polls for the fan site rankings started, right? <sighs> Mishima read <laughs> some, some, uh... Mishima read some things that got him thinking about, you know, like social credit scores and stuff like that. And then was like, you know, this seems like a really good idea. We should we should do that, but in the negative specifically. Uh <laughs> fan site? No, I hadn't heard. Really? Even though it's been so lively? I'm the one who made the website, but even I'm surprised. I Explain can't it. I'm part of such a huge thing. I'm so glad I've been rooting for the Phantom Thieves. On the contrary, did you hear about Akechi, that detective against the thieves? The good looking one. His oh. popularity plummeted after Medjet was dealt with. Supposedly, his official blog's up in flames. Wow. He posed as some hero of justice, but that's what he gets for not seeing eye to eye with them. Wow. <sighs> to be blunt, I can't focus on this trip. I keep thinking about the Phantom Thieves. Don't you think about them too? Uh, let's just go to sleep. Well, no. No, let's just go to sleep, bro. You sure are calm. Something this amazing rarely happens, you know? But then again, I think I'm feeling a bit tired too. Ah, <sighs> let's go to bed. Good night. Why am I not surprised uh, Akechi has a blog? Well, what do you think he has in his little Avengers case? His little Akechi the Avenger. He's probably got a laptop in it. That's probably his main thing that he's got in there, you know? I thought we were gonna be getting alohas coming from all directions and stuff. It costs money to enjoy that atmosphere, you know? There's not much we can do as students. I guess it's the same no matter where we go. Hey. What's with the low energy, Makoto? Huh? I just had to listen to the taxi driver complain for 30 minutes straight. Oh! <laughs> I'm used to dealing with students' troubles, but I never expected to have to do it overseas as well. What, what were they complaining about? Sucked. We should be doing some more exciting stuff. I mean, we're in freaking Hawaii, for God's sake. Okay, okay, quit complaining. Let's, you know, suggest some ideas then, you know. What, what do you, what do you got? Isn't the school supposed to plan stuff? I want to go diving! Grand Blue? It seems there wasn't enough time to come up with any kind of coordinated travel plan. 
That lack of coordination is what led to them using students as chaperones as well. Hmm. By the way, you're rooming with Mishima, right? How is it? Anything interesting? All fan site, all the time. Even in Hawaii? Yeah. Fan site. You know, I do hear people talking about the Phantom Thieves every so often. Okay. Are they really mentioning us? I think so. We've already made our international debut. Yep. Man, just talking about that makes me want to go back to Japan so bad. You really have no chill. None at all. Come on, let's try and forget about those things for now. But people are waiting for us to oh! find society. We don't hey! have time to be relaxing over here. Bro, what? What? Did my man fold himself? Did my man fold his skinny ass into a suitcase and stow away? How the hell did he get from LA to here? Yusuke could feel, could feel the, the, the potential energy, the, the interactive potential, and just looked at a painting that he was making of the ocean, and he was like whisked through a portal of his own design and just popped out here. Ain't that right, Yusuke? <laughs> Wait, what the hell? <laughs> Overseas travel provides a great opportunity for new insight. I'd prefer we stay here a bit longer. What? What are you doing here? <laughs> Wasn't your school supposed to be going to Los Angeles? Apparently, they couldn't land the plane due to a terrible storm brewing on the west coast. Ah, cool. No signs of it letting up, so our destination was changed on the spot to Hawaii. Wow. Do you just bring rain wherever you go? Wow. Could it be that what happened at the fireworks festival was his fault as well? Oh my god, y'all are going way too hard in on this. Don't go bringing any storms here, you got that? Too late. Y'all jinxed it with your belief in that superstition. I'll do my best. Oh, that means um, Hifumi is going to be here as well. By the way, there's nothing planned after this. What are you all going to yeah. do? Okay. Uh, oh, yeah, I still got to buy souvenirs. My mom asked me to grab some stuff for her. Okay. I totally forgot about that. We need to pick things up for Futaba and Morgana, too. I was hoping to do some shopping myself. Then it's settled. I wonder what Morgana would want. To be here. Man, our group's totally the same even out of Japan. Yeah. You need, like, an event planner kind of person. I didn't realize Big Bang Burger was in Hawaii, too. Oh my god. Yeah, it's been getting real popular in Japan lately. I guess they wanted to branch out. What if we can flex on them and show them our Big Bang Burger? Wait, no, 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 no. No, this is the best part. The next and final rank of Big Bang Burger is here, and it's the U.S. style. The U.S. final level, where it's not just massive, huge burger. It's, you know, American big burger, you know, version. And we... Oh, we don't have enough guts then, if it was a max rank guts proficiency and knowledge. The secret USA final challenge. <laughs> yes, exactly. <laughs> Difficulty American. <laughs> now that you mention it, I read a news article recently about the success of Okumura Foods. Oh shit, that's right. Uh, some of the mental shutdown stuff seemed to be connected to the competitor of Okumura Foods. That's right. Ah, yes. The company that owns Big Bang Burger. The Burger Conspiracy! Okumura? Oh shit! Ain't that the guy who's at the top of the fan site rankings? Is that true? No way. I guarantee it. I don't make mistakes about that kind of stuff. No way! So is our next target gonna be like, you know, the Burger King equivalent? Uh, like, mogul, you know, like, business tycoon? Who would that be? Who would that be the equivalent in our world? No, it would be, um, what's his name? The guy that owns, um, uh, the guy that everyone says is the old cool investor guy, uh, but he's like, just, he's just, he's just a typical guy. He owns Berkshire Hathaway, uh, Warren Buffett. Yeah, yeah, <laughs> we're gonna take down Warren Buffett. <laughs> yes. <laughs> You're amazing. Right. 
Because Warren Buffett, I believe, owns Burger King. I believe. By extension. That's how I made the connection to, to that. Hmm? Well, what's the matter? Oh, it's probably nothing. Just a rumor I heard about Okumura Foods. Hmm. Supposedly, all of their overseas competition has mysteriously pulled out. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Never mind. I'm surely just overthinking things. Sis's habits seem to be rubbing off on me. Hey, why don't we take a pic together? You know, so we can remember the trip and all. Okay. Ooh, yeah. Oh, good idea. We get Yusuke in on the photo, too. Yep. Yeah, let's do it. Are you sure you don't want to be in it? <laughs> Thanks. Aw. I only ask to ensure the composition is well balanced. Damn, bro. Ugh, can you not worry about that stuff for one second? Yeah. Go for it. Oh. Smile. Oh. Oh, that's a great photo. Some time to spare, right? Oh. There's a convenience store down by the beach. How about there? Sure. That sounds lovely. I would quite like a short rest. Hmm. Yusuke's a warlock, so he is constantly begging for short rests. All right, let's head over there. Oh my God, that's also true. Around here is kind of salty. Yes, and they got Matt Mercer to say short rest. Yeah, of course. Wow. It... <laughs> yep. You might be right. Oh shoot! I forgot my sunscreen. I'm going to go buy another bottle at the convenience store. Oh, that's true. Yusuke would be more of a fighter type. He could be a Hexblade. He could be a Hexblade Warlock, though. I'll go with you. I guess we will need to wait for them to come back. All right. So boys, far. boys, lads, 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 lads. By the way, do you think we're the thieves everyone here has been going on about? It'd be pretty freaking crazy if that was true, huh? Yeah, that would be amazing. Huh. I had not heard of such rumors. It sounds wonderful. Well, we are already here, so why don't we confirm if that is the case? Yeah. Oh, good idea. Let's try asking around while we wait for Ron and Makoto. Okay, we can move around. Yeah. Hello, hello. Oh, I've heard of the Phantom Thieves. In fact, I'm a big fan. It's so awesome how they kick the bad guys' asses. I wonder how they steal hearts. Oh. He actually seemed to be quite knowledgeable. Dude. Damn, it's crazy how many people know about us. This is freaking awesome. Phantom thieves? Oh, like the ones from Japan. Whoa, whoa. I read about them in a news article recently. What of it? <laughs> it's actually all I wanted to know. Thanks. Phantom thieves? I've never heard of them. You kids are from Japan, right? Are these phantom thieves special people like samurai or geisha? Hmm. <laughs> mm, I suppose that understanding isn't necessarily incorrect for someone from a foreign country. Oh, shit! Hello there! Huh? Hey, ain't she kind of cute? Maybe we should ask her some questions, too. Yeah, 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 yeah. Hello there. Uh, free time is almost up. Shouldn't you be heading back soon? What do you mean? You're a Shujin student, correct? Yeah. Your blonde friends seem very excited on the airplane coming here. <laughs> hey, you're that girl we saw watering the plants. Uh-huh. We've seen around all over the place. Sorry to surprise you. I'm another third year who was asked oh. to come show on this trip. Okay, that, that tracks. That, that makes sense. Okay. Okay, gotcha. Hmm. I accepted the task to take my mind off of things, but I wasn't sure how to spend my free time. We're here! I think I should be going. Hmm. See you. Interesting. Sorry, were you waiting long? No. Hmm. That girl you were talking to just now, do you know her? Makoto should recognize her because she's a third year. No, that was my first interaction with her. She said she was a third year. The same as you, Makoto. Hmm. Mm-hmm. I've never really spoken to her, though. Ah, it looks like our free time is over. Let's head back to the hotel. Okay. Um. <coughs> oh, what am I doing? I feel like such an idiot for getting psyched for this. Oh! Oh! I am... 
Oh, aha. Yep, I knew the hydrate reminders were coming. Holy shit. Damn. Ah, um, guys, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna need a, I need a quick break here. I'm gonna, I'm gonna eat some food. That was just all of a sudden, just no warning, just suddenly, um. <laughs> Then again, we are on a trip, so... 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 Excuse me, oh. Miss Kawakami. About the post-beach plans. Hey! <gasps> Alright, this is this is the reason. This is the connective tissue for <laughs> why we why did this, yeah. Um, did I find you at a bedtime? Oh. Not at all. What's the matter? <laughs> Your teacher should be allowed to have fun too, you know. Ugh. Found it. Ooh, data. One after another too. What did you find? Yeah. Still working. Can't tell you. <laughs> she can handle this without me. Oh, oh, Mona. Ooh, so much. All I'm good for is driving them around in mementos. Oh, we're having the. We're having the Sokka sword section of the anime here. Where it's the, what am I good for? I've been replaced by Futaba. I only really drive people around mementos. The main character never invites me into the party anymore. I swear I'm a great healer. This game can get hard, I swear. Joker, sometimes you're gonna need healing and dedicated healing, but but like, you know, if you leave me behind for so long, I won't level up that much, you know? I'm basically useless. Oh! Oh! Oh, Makoto! Oh! No! No! The U word! Oh! Oh! Kitty, your mumbling's distracting me. If you got something to say, just spit it out. It's nothing. Oh. What were you saying? <laughs> Let me go! You feel so nice. Oh. I do not. So smooth and silky. It's kind of hard to believe fur this soft belongs to a human. Don't make me say it again. I'm a human. <laughs> He's so used. He's so used to contra <laughs> to, <laughs> to contradicting people that he just wait. Couldn't you just be assuming that? I had the wrong assumptions about my mom for the longest time. Oh. It's not the same. I understand myself better than anyone. Well, um, hmm. Who's gonna tell him? That's really not how understanding works. For him, maybe. But the thing is, is that Mona's, Mona's, uh, Mona's a weird case. Because either we take everything Mona's saying about the amnesia stuff 100% with truth, and that Mona is not keeping any secrets at all. More likely, Mona is keeping some secrets and has some amnesia. But because you have amnesia, like, no, you might not understand yourself at all. You might understand yourself less because you focus on specific assumptions and take things, you know, farther away from where you are, you know? That's true. Yeah, we, we I remember the dream. Yeah, yeah, I remember the dream. Uh, it was terrifying. All right. There are even more posts now. Oh, wow. The president of a company called Okumura Foods is rising very quickly at the rankings. We're on trip, you know. Come on, you can't let this chance pass you by. It's rumored that Okumura Foods exploits their employees. Stuff like underpaying staff to reduce labor costs, mm -hmm. that's how they have so many stores. I mean, yeah, that's like what every single corporation does. <laughs> I mean, not every single one, but you, you get what I'm saying. That's basic capitalism right there. What's up? All right. Yo. Yo. Why are you here? Just hear me out. The guy I'm rooming with went and brought his girlfriend back to the room. Mm. Felt totally awkward staying in there with him. But bro. 
I'm just gonna sleep here tonight. Now that you left, they're definitely gonna get it on. Even though there are only two beds? Coming! Oh god. Here comes Yusuke. Takamaki? Oh, on! The girl I was sharing a room with took off to her boyfriend's room. <laughs> Perfect! <laughs> <laughs> and that that it all it all it all connects now. There there you go. <laughs> I know that feeling. <laughs> and she took the key. Oh no! Oh no! Wait! Wait! I stepped outside for just a second and the auto lock kicked in. I can't get back in my room. Oh my god. <laughs> Why would you What do you need outside your room at night? There's nothing out there. You have everything you need in your room. Why would you leave without your key? I forgot that On is on the dumber side of the spectrum in the group. Ice? Oh, that is true. Ice is in the hall, usually. Yeah. One key is kind of cringe, though. Like, that's that's super cringe. Huh? You're looking at stuff online even over here? Ever since the Medjet case, many people from overseas have been accessing the website. Uh, Isn't it crazy? The Phantom Thieves are finally making their worldwide debut. Oh, what should I do about overseas requests? I, I don't think we're the ones you should ask about that. Yeah. They took down Medjet. I wonder who they'll bring justice to next. It's not just Japan anymore. The whole world's waiting to see the Phantom Thieves' next move. Hmm. That reminds me, what time is it? Hmm. <sighs> Oh, so sleepy. I'm feeling pretty pooped. You think this could be that jet lag thing? It'll be too much hassle for me to go anywhere else. I'll just sleep in here tonight. Well. Wait, what? Well. I don't. I don't know if that's a good idea. What? No, no, it's fine. Don't worry. I trust you guys. Yeah. I saw that one coming. There are only two beds. Even if someone sleeps on the sofa. All right. The guys must all play a game. One of us is gonna have to sleep on the floor. Or one of the guys is gonna have to share a bed with another guy. See, this is how I would do this immediately. It's just be like, whoever volunteers for the couch first sleeps alone. But the other two have to then share a bed. So who's that gonna be? This is like basic stuff here. Oh, hey, playing cards. Why don't we use these to decide? Uh, <laughs> sure. Sure. Let's play Tycoon. Yeah. What? Ah! <laughs> I'm all the way in Hawaii, and I'm stuck sleeping on the floor. Oh, poor Ryuji. Hey, where'd Mishima go? He's in the bathroom. Ain't he been in there a while? The school trip. Shiho was really looking forward to this. Oh. On. Sorry, I didn't mean to bring the mood down. But it's already been almost six months since then, hasn't mm -hmm. it? Yeah. <laughs> this all feels so strange. Yeah, I'm sure it does. Right? Hard to believe the rowdy kids at school are now famous all over the world. Hmm. Don't you think we still have a lot to learn about each other, though? Oh, for sure. For sure. You know, things like what kind of people we like. So, time to come clean, Ryuji. Me? Uh... Well, mm -hmm. she's got to have a good personality. I'm okay with anyone who's modest and nice. What about if two girls with equally good personalities confess to you at the same time? Good question. That's a good way to phrase it. If they're equally nice, uh, then it'd have to be the one with the hotter bod. Okay. So looks are what's most important to you. <laughs> So what you're saying is personality doesn't matter at all. <laughs> what? <laughs> your first answer was just superficial. The second answer was your true beliefs. Mmm. Okay, okay. There is some element in truth to that. A little bit. Huh. So you really are that kind of guy. Or are you disappointed on? That ain't fair. What about you? Come on, spill the beans. What kind of girl is your type? Hmm. Well, that's interesting. We literally have all three of these girls in the party. We got On, 
We got Makoto. And we got Futaba. I think we do I don't have a type. It's kind of the coward's answer here, you know? So, I think I'm gonna do this. Lame, the boring answer. What's your actual answer? Oh, my actual answer? Okay, okay, let's think here. Let's think here. In, in a lot of ways, there's a lot of little things that are a big deal, but it's kind of like, to have a type means like a tendency towards specific things, you know? And one of the things that I can use as like a, a way to figure out what my type is, is find the things that are absolute deal breakers if they're not there, right? And this is something where I think, I think a lot of people can really end up figuring something out. All these things here, these two especially, are like hyper positives. Most people, I would say, don't have great bodies. They just have, you know, they just have decent bodies. They, they look pretty good, you know? Really smart. Most people aren't really smart, you know? If a person was ugly, like I just, just, just did not find them attractive at all. I, I know that I'm, they're not gonna be my type and stuff. If the person was dumb, again, also not gonna be my type. Shrouded mystery. I don't even. I don't even understand the allure of this. This feels like some childhood, you know, uh, fictional character kind of stuff here. Of oh, they're so mysterious. So for me, if one of these was neutral and the other one was like, like above average, the one that would be probably the most important to me would probably be great body. Like probably for the most part. But a person doesn't have to be really smart or have a gorgeous nine out of 10, 10 out of 10 body for me to be into them or them to be my type. I've I've found especially recently that like my my type and that whole mindset has completely completely disappeared. And I'm not going to go into my whole love life and stuff like that, but um yeah. A catchy is all of them. <laughs> Actually, that's a really interesting point. If a person was really smart, um I actually would be more attracted to them than if they were gorgeous. But let me reveal some of my insecurities here, actually. I am, I am okay with someone being way smarter than me, but I am, I have a little bit of a, maybe a little bit of a bias for when someone is so gorgeous that like, I almost feel like that's their personality, if that makes sense. It's kind of something that I can end up being a bit judgy. There was one time where I was at this, um, I was at this place meeting a bunch of people that I had never spent much time with. I knew of this group of people, but I hadn't. Uh, I was introduced to them through a, through a friend. And uh, we all went out to grab food, right? And I ended up sitting next to this girl that was like, really, really well put together. Like exceptionally, well put together, like perfect makeup, perfect hair, like tall, like model, you know? And I just had this moment where I was like, oh, I'm really intimidated. Like she's really gorgeous and stuff. But it was the moment when like, I kinda got like a little bit of like a, like a little bit of side eye. We were talking about something with regards to the way, I don't know how the conversation came up, but it was something about the way in which people spend money on things that ultimately are like kind of there. They don't really matter as much. I'm trying to remember what it was, but it was it was something about the topic of money and, and, and things like that. And I think I got a little bit of side eye from the idea of like spending money to kind of present your best self, I guess. And maybe that was my insecurity even at the time, but I think I've still got a little bit of like a, oh, if they're like really spending tons of money on like their hair and their their looks and things like that, I maybe get a little bit of like a little bit judgy. Whereas if someone's really smart, it feels fun to try to catch up to them, you know? Yeah, but even then, yeah, Jen, exactly. The idea that like some people can end up focusing so much on this that it becomes their personality, that in and of itself is also kind of short sighted because they might just be like on where they're just really gorgeous. 
and they don't actually spend that much time on it, but people might judge them for it. It's weird. I feel like I end up judging people more, weirdly enough, for, oh, actually, though, this is a really interesting thing. This is a really interesting topic. Chat, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna probe you guys for a second here. Which of these two things do you think is a greater privilege? Like, the one that you look at a person that is this, like, is this either super smart or super gorgeous and go, oh, they're super privileged. Oh, good. It's, it's actually divided here. Cool. I knew this one would be very divided. Okay, cool. See, I would argue, I would argue here, and this is the part that is really, really interesting here. Both of these things can be worked on. Both of these things can actually be worked on. And both of these things have an innate talent aspect as well. And I think, I think on some level, maybe, maybe this is a thing for me, and I'm maybe revealing a little bit of my insecurities here. I feel like the one that you feel like is the hardest to change is the one that matters the least to you. Meaning the one that you feel like you have the most control over is the one you care about more. That's, that would be the positive uh, angle on that. And I would say, I would say personally, personally, the one that uh, I believe you have the most control over, uh, for me, is this one. I, I think in some ways, I think in some ways, this is one where you can become more educated, but you won't necessarily get smarter. Have you ever met someone that's brilliant, but not necessarily educated? Or have you ever met someone that's very educated, but is not brilliant? Yes, all the time. So much of the second one. Yeah, yeah, exactly. Yeah, mm-hmm. I'm definitely picking this one then for, for my type, because I, I, think, I think I'm just simple in that regard. But the thing I think a lot of people dislike about being smart is not people that are smart. They dislike being reminded that a lot of people have to do more of an active environmental projecting of sorts in order to appear smart than it does to appear attractive. Attractive, you know, projecting is a silent thing. It's just there. It's based on looking. But maybe intelligence is something that you have to vocalize. You have to you have to demonstrate with a lot more of a, a more more of a uh, more of an aggressive act into your environment. A quote that stuck with me for a while is imagine how smart the average person is then consider the fact that half of all people are dumber than that. Yeah, and it's not even that they're dumber, they just have they're just a little bit maybe slower than that. I think I think one of the other things I like to do is to, not comparing how intelligent people are, but how quick it takes people to come to the same solution. Cuz I think there's there's a level where you can be like, oh, I'm the only people that have access to this kind of critical thinking ability or something like that. But it's not just, it's not that, it's more just that people can do the same thing, it just takes them a couple seconds longer or something like that. So, yeah. All right, well, we got stunlocked there for a bit. Let's, let's go with the top one here. Wait, are you talking about her? Wait, huh? Well, we answered honestly, it's your turn next. What? Her? Huh. So, what kind of guy do you... Oh god, Mishima. So, what kind of guy do you... Bro, no! Uh... No! That doesn't sound good. Oh! You no, know, wasn't he drinking the tap water earlier? The tap water in Hawaii is fine. That's like the one thing you're not supposed to do when you're out of the country. Oh my god. <laughs> No, I believe that is a wise decision. Ah, yes. We will target Mishima and make him shit himself to death. A brilliant decision by co-conspirator, uh, uh, Organization 13. We will target Mishima and we will destroy the fan site. Absolutely. Yes, it is a genius stratagem. Yeah. <laughs> Why did we cut from Mishima shitting himself to Conehead Man is back here being like, ah, Keikaku Dori, yes, hmm, yes. Though it was some third-rate tabloids article, unnecessary information was leaked after all. Oh, was that intentional? Besides, his investigation of the Phantom Thieves showed no progress since then. 
Oh, okay. Playing the pronoun game. There's a possibility that he'll betray us out of spite since he was let go. Gotcha. Okay, so they're talking about uh, the principal then. Okay, okay. Because of the phone call that he had recently. We'll make it so that it was a uh, heart attack. Well, there we go. Principal's gonna die. As usual, he'll be left to deal with the... Another he? Oh, I wouldn't have thought of that. Well played, sir. It no longer matters if we deal with one or two of those connected to us. Yeah. <sighs> Our trip is almost over. By tomorrow night, we'll be in the airplane heading home. Interesting, interesting. Damn it, this isn't how stuff was supposed to go. What do you mean? We ended up walking around, same as we always do in Japan. I mean, we even ate out of freaking Big Bang Burger. It's like we never left. <laughs> Wine all you'd like, but that's what the trip was supposed to be. Yeah, yeah, basically. Just dropping the, the truth bombs. You just can't keep up, Ryuji. I'm sorry. I want some other guys getting all cozy with their girlfriends or some shit. <laughs> Bro, you don't have a girlfriend. What did you expect to, you expect to, okay, no, this is, this is true though. This is true. How many people, when you were a kid, and you went on a trip to that place or whatever that you were really excited to go to, you then end up, even if it's not like a long trip or anything like that, you're just going camping or something. You're just going, you're just going elsewhere. You have this thought of like, what if I meet somebody here? What if I like have a, have a, a, a rendezvous suddenly? A love at first sight, a, a crush develop over summer vacation. Yeah, exactly. And Ryuji's just having that experience. He's like, fuck, I, I thought I'd meet some like cute Hawaiian girl or something, you know. I think? <laughs> the summer romance, yeah, exactly. And that's it, that's what this trip is missing. All right, let's go try again. We totally gotta get moving during our free time in the afternoon. Okay. What are we going to do? Make a once-in-a-lifetime summer memory. Hawaii's famous for its beaches, and you know what happens in Hawaii stays in Hawaii. <laughs> He's beating around the bush so much. We can get some girls' numbers during the day and sneak away to him at night. <laughs> you in or what? <laughs> Me too. <laughs> It'll be great. Neither of us have girlfriends who get mad about it either. Uh. I, I guess it's true, but. Uh, Come on, I know you're acting all cool, but you're totally coming with. No question about it. Uh. Ooh, you get a message? <gasps> Look at that. Oh shit, wait. Uh, actually, you don't gotta answer that. It might be something about you know what. Oh. Oh. Come on, Mishima, let's go. Wait. Wait, what just happened? It's only going to be the two of us, Sakamoto? Don't give me that look. We're going to Waikiki. Try and get a little more excited. And... Oh shit. Oh shit. Who is it on the phone? Who is it on the phone? Could that have been a Phantom Thieves message? Not necessarily. I should check when there's nobody else around. Oh. I'd love to go for a walk on the beach. We're in Hawaii, after all. I can finally take a break from my job, too. If you don't have any plans, would you like to take a walk with me? Looks like we received some messages. Messages, plural? Are, are you busy? We're all the way in Hawaii, so I'd like to go to the beach, just the two of us. I heard that Shujin is here in Hawaii, so I wanted to say hi. My school is giving us some free time to do as we please. Care to walk along the beach? It might help with new moves. What was that message earlier? Was it from Futaba? <laughs> Ryuji's like, hey, bro, bro, you're, you're, you're coming tonight, right? Like, you're not ditching me, right? Like, wait, don't tell me, was it a girl? Come on, you gotta make memories with us instead. We bombed it on that beach in Japan after all. This is my last moment of free time. Who should I spend it with? Ah, can I save? Ah! So obviously, we don't need the points with any of these girls. 
The main thing is, which interaction do we think will be maybe the most entertaining, you know? Obviously, if we go from just pure entertainment perspective, it's gonna be the boys. There could be some unique stuff with Hifumi, because she is one that has, like, actual reasons to travel and stuff like that, outside of the school stuff, with being, you know, a, a pro shogi player. So that could be a potential thing there. Story-wise, An's kind of taking a backseat in general, so hers doesn't seem that interesting to me right now. But we are dating her right now, so hers could be the only one that's actually unique, you know. Oh shit, could Kawakami have been here if we had ranked 10 to her before, uh, before Hawaii? Shit, really? Wow! Oh, that sucks. So, I'm kind of leaning towards Hifumi then. Yeah, if I, if I go by just who I want to spend time with, I'm probably just going to do the boys then, you know? Alright, let's do, let's do the boys. And if it's disappointing, we'll pick one of the girls. Because I want to see, I want to see at least two here. So what I'll do is for now, I'll pick the boys. Because I think, I think the boys is going to be more interesting. Basically, the, the stuff that they did like this in Persona 4 with the boys was the stuff that were, ended up being my favorite. But... This is Mishima and Ryuji, so it's 50-50 in terms of, like, you know, you don't have Kanji and Ryuji here. Let's try it. Oh, okay, that was weird. Right on, Hawaiian girls, here we come! All right, dude, let's get into our swimsuits and meet on the beach. I'm meeting at the beach. I should hurry and change into my swimsuit. Okay. Dude, there are... A lot of babes here. <laughs> um, that look in your eyes scares me. <laughs> Yo, you're finally here. Okay. Let's go make this vacation one to remember. Hell yeah. Will this really work? Uh, no, no, it, it won't at all. You got this, Ryuji. Hell yeah, I got this. All right, <sighs> we want to go after solo girls that look bored. Got it. All together? No, we split up. I don't want to let my my Riz score be dropped down by y'all's stuff here. No. Huh. <gasps> and mission failure. Uh, it's hot enough as is. Seeing those couples just makes my damn blood boil. <laughs> Wait a sec. You smell something good? It's coming from that food stand. Reject women. Enjoy meat! Uh, ain't that Yusuke? It is! Yo, Yusuke! What are you doing? Oh, it's you. Hello. Hmm. <laughs> that stuff hmm. good? Shrimp? It is resplendent. Ah. Uh. Even in Hawaii, it's the same old Yusuke. What? 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 Hey! 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 What? What? Why is it? What? What? No, he's... He's just... It's just odd here. What are these choices? That's, that's, that's some bullshit. I don't agree with either of these. Fine, he's a weirdo. <laughs> that's an understatement. Yo, would you take a look at them? They're incredible. Hmm. Come on, we'll rock, paper, scissors for him if this goes well. Crossing an ocean just for this. <laughs> Hi there. Oh, y'all from Japan? Y'all from Japan? What a weird accent. <laughs> oh, here we go. Here we go. Anyways, the four of us got some time on our hands, and uh, you're including me in this? <laughs> well, if you ladies aren't doing anything, how about we go somewhere more fun? Please, show us around Hawaii. Oh, God, Mishima. 
sorry, we don't take too kindly to youngins. I'm all about the wealthy, refined, older men. <laughs> I wouldn't have minded if you were those phantom thieves, though. No, 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 no. Mishima, Yuruji, everyone. No, save them. No, no. For real? Oh, well, you know, we... Ryuji. Ryuji! Uh... Bye-bye. Come back in ten years. <laughs> They brushed us away without a second thought. <laughs> How about you ask the Phantom Thieves for help, huh? They're all about stealing hearts, right? Oh no. You can make those girls. No, 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 no. Have a change of heart. No, 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 no. Oh, I never thought of that. No, 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 no. No. This is absurd. And it went south real fast. No, they 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 were already in the south, but you know, anyway. Let's go on a food binge. Shall we eat? Yes. <sighs> Let's just head back. Oh! Yeah, I'm beat. Food! Our wanton battle has ended in failure. <sighs> It was terrible getting dragged around by Sakamoto all day. Ah. Do you think I'll have to go through this on future school events as well? You'll survive, Mishima. <laughs> Thanks. I guess I didn't exactly turn down the invite either. Yep. I don't know. It's fun hanging out with Sakamoto, but... He might be too different for me. Yeah, I'm definitely gonna load back and do a different one. Is getting a girlfriend my only way out of this situation? Well, anyway, we need to wake up early tomorrow. Let's get some sleep, okay? No. Hey! Hey, we're still open for business. Get that cat upstairs. Aww. It's not like anyone's coming in anyway. Plus, if someone does come, you can just tell them it's a cat cafe. You know that line's not gonna work. Monarchy! Hey! What are you doing here? Excuse me. Hey, what did I tell you? Get that cat out of here. I'm oh, sorry. Oh, oh, no, please. There's no need. I'm sorry. Hmm? Wait a sec. It's... I was told that, um, Kurimo-kun is lodging at a cafe. And I just happened to be passing by, so... Uh -huh. Okay! Ah, I see. You teach at his school, huh? Not really. I'm just a counselor. Well, in any case, I apologize for the cat. Normally, he stays upstairs. It's fine by me. I love animals. They don't seem to share the same sentiment, the sentiment though. Haha. <laughs> the heck's he doing here? Crispy's off on his little trip. No clue. He's just some alien-level stranger to me. Say, you talk with your cat. That's so neat. <laughs> Sorry, did I frighten you? My apologies. I just found it impressive is all. <sighs> Sorry about the cold shoulder over there. Just take the cat upstairs, okay? I'll call you back down when it's all clear. Come on, Futaba. We'll just be in the way down here. Let's go. Aww. <laughs> Talk with the cat! No, no. <gasps> that book! Oh, this? It's on a subject called cognitive science. Any interest? Oh. <sighs> what? You're... I'm sorry, but you need to leave. Don't worry about the bill. Huh? Uh -huh. Huh? I I'm so sorry. If there was anything, I... The cafe's now closed. I'll have to ask you to... Sojiro! I'm okay! He stays. What good is driving your few customers away gonna do you anyhow? Futaba. <laughs> so that book, is it what you teach, uh, sir? I mean, mister? Hmm. Huh. Well, <laughs> no, not at all. I'm, I'm not a teacher. What's it for, then? It's just a personal interest of mine. I've been studying it for years now. It's difficult to grasp at times, but it's quite useful. Fun to study, too. It's fun? 
Yeah. Well, of course, it's a wonderful division of science that can help many people. That makes it pretty fun, right? <laughs> <laughs> yep. Mom thought the exact same thing. Mom? Her mother studied it, too. What I don't get is why you're studying something like that, though. Well, you are a high school counselor, right? I guess it does make some sense being related to your field and all. Your mom thought that too, huh? She sounds like a wonderful woman. <laughs> Hell yeah, my mom owned. She loved me so much. <sighs> Past tense, huh? I see. Right. Well, I'm sure she'd be very proud. All right. Let's Come on, go. Mona. Let's go. Off to a menless room. Hey, wait. Hey, wait. Futaba. Sorry about that. Would you care for another? <laughs> Thank you. Your coffee truly is amazing. <laughs> Thanks. Man, things sure are changing around here. Yep, she spoke with a stranger! She spoke with a stranger! She did it! Oh! The trip is finally coming to a close. I never thought I would have the chance to go on one this year as well. I barely even felt like I was out of the country, though. Hmm. I feel ya. Even yeah. Yusuke showed up. Well, I'm simply glad the storm didn't make its way over here. Mm. It may not have been the most exciting trip, but we still had a good time. Yeah. Honestly, though, I'm thankful we didn't have to deal with the storm. They truly are dreadful. Oh, no. You know, I saw you guys hanging out all by yourselves last night. Yeah. Is there a problem with that? <laughs> no. He just looked kind of bummed. That's all. Shut up. And why are you so interested? Something good happened to you? Oh, so this will be different depending on who we hang out with. Okay. Um, no. Aha! So you're in the same position as us. Hey, say something to this lonely girl, won't you? Uh, 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 uh. Yeah, being alone is okay. Yeah, it's none of your business. Are girls the only thing that tiny head of yours can think about? That's enough, you guys. <laughs> it felt like this trip went by in a flash. I'm not sure if I want to go home or stay here longer at this point. Oh, no, don't say that. On um, The storm will come and our flights will get grounded and everything. Hey, why don't we shop for souvenirs together before it's time to go? Yeah. Ooh, count me in. Let's do it. Allow me to join you as well. Although I have no funds for souvenirs. You're going to be able to get back to Japan, right? Oh. Yes, that's that's how planes work. What do you oh, think cool. and Futaba would like? Yeah. The traditional souvenir from Hawaii is usually chocolate. Oh, but Morgana can't eat chocolate. Well, he tells us that he's not a cat, so maybe it's fine. Maybe. If we're gonna get him souvenirs, we gotta pick stuff they'll really wig out over. Why don't we split up and look around then? Hell yeah. Look, they have oh! coffee with butter in it. Do you think it tastes good? There she is again. There's acai powder over here. Nice. Doesn't it feel like you could just spend forever at places like these? I know what you mean. Oh. We've come all the way to Hawaii. I think it'd be best for our gifts to focus on impact rather than taste. I agree. Oh, well said. Because you can't bring liquids on the plane, so. In that case, let's find something we wouldn't buy ourselves, but we'd be happy to get as a gift. Oh my god, yes. What are the things you all assemble? I'm not seeing anything. I mean, this is Futaba and Morgana we're talking about. Their standards for happiness are way too high. Oh! Uh... Yusuke, you find something? Oh god, what is that? An hourglass that measures three minute increments. Uh, w why? <laughs> well, Futaba loves instant yakisoba. Uh, oh! It brilliantly meets the requirements of an item I wouldn't buy for myself, but would please me to receive. Oh, that's, that's, that's so thoughtful! But... Can't she just buy one of those in Japan? Bro, that's not the point. It's from Hawaii. Oh, crap, we're almost out of time. Okay, Yusuke and I will find Futaba's souvenir and we'll leave Morgana's to you. Oh, cool. 
Something Morgana would like. I feel like someone's staring at me from behind. Hello. Oh! Oh shit! Yoshi Z! Senpai. Oh my god! What? What? Aloha! <laughs> <laughs> That's a much more appropriate greeting. <laughs> oh, cool! Aloha. Okay, sure, I'll, I'll... Oh, wait, no, 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 no! No, shit, that's the wrong button! I meant to do this! I meant to do this! Ah! Huh? Who's that? Find anything suitable? Okay, there we go. Hmm? That girl. Damn it. Sorry, guys. Ah, sorry to be a bother. I'm Yoshizawa, a first year. It's nice meeting you all. Oh, you're that gymnast. Oh, is this where she's going to be set up to join the party? That's right. Our club is here at a training camp to get ready for the next big meet, and I just happened to find him. The last meet was only a short while ago, though. You're already training for the next one? Yeah, An was like, huh? You seem to be making quite the effort. Well, I absolutely have to get the results I'm looking for at the next competition. The team's been training with a famous coach who lives here on the island. All right. She's working us especially hard. We end up in tears almost every day. Your dedication to training even when overseas is admirable. We should all learn from your example. <laughs> yep. Good luck at the next meet. We're all rooting for you. Thank you. Your kind words may be what keeps me from crying today. <laughs> hey, uh, it's fine if you do cry, though. You know what they say. What doesn't thrill you makes you stronger. Wow. That's not not bad, Ryuji. Not bad. Ah, I almost forgot we're out of time here. Uh, well, I'm gonna go pay for my stuff. You know, I'll take it. Ryuji's trying. Ooh, I ought to do that too. See you later, Yoshizawa-san. Yes, it was nice meeting you all. Your friends seem like a fun bunch. Yeah, they're great. Mm-hmm, I think so too. Well, I know I'm going to win for sure this time. Okay. I'll prove to everyone what I'm made of. Hmm. Hmm. Considering the rank I got last time, though, I also got this souvenir as a sort of insurance. Okay. Yeah, good luck charm. I bought it earlier today at this branch of a Japanese shrine here in Hawaii. Ooh. I always used to buy some kind of charm before a big competition. My sister was even more stringent with her own superstitions. Okay. The thing is, I forgot to pick one up before the last meet. I'll be fine now, though. I just know it. I should probably get going. I almost forgot that I still need to pick up souvenirs for my family. Sorry for keeping you so long. I'll see you later, all right? <laughs> just nod. That's it? Okay. That was that was fun. Hmm. Oh shit. Oh shit. But still would have eventually shut up just not. And he knows. Welcome back. 
This is like that moment where the really horrible homeroom teacher in P4 gets killed. And you're like, oh no! Anyways, but this one has some like world building and like kind of power system implications as well. Yeah, implications, exactly. The part that's wild here, specifically about, yeah, this had tons of buildup, yeah, exactly, is that he was in the know of some stuff. Even though he probably knew that he could die at any moment, he did nothing to try and like get help or try and like protect himself or maybe tell anybody. To, to think about it based on the fact that it just happened, you know. He was going to the police station. Well, eh, eh, yeah, yeah, okay. That's actually rather interesting. Like, I didn't take from that that he was going directly to the police station, but I guess I didn't really notice the crosswalks and the destination being specifically the police station. It looked like he was crossing adjacent to the police station. So what if it's more of a thing of where he got close enough that something in the cognitive world pinged, you know, whoever, you know, killed him or the group or whatever that, that, that killed him. And they're like, oh shit, okay. Like the implications are, are wild here. And he was crossing directly, okay. Because what that means is that someone, someone was probably specifically tailing him in the other world. But like, how does that correlate to our world and like like it, it it gets it gets really wild when you think about it because what i thought was gonna happen was he was just not gonna wake up one day he was just gonna be asleep and then just suddenly just and just dead you know yeah no i know what i know what conehead was talking about yeah the timing of it is really dumb then if it's just that Oh, no, unluckily, right at the moment before going to the police station, a, an uncoordinated, like, you know, death happens that makes him die right before that. No, if anything, it feels way too, like, way too direct and specific to where it's the whole thing of, like, oh, should I kill him? He's headed to the police station. Yes, kill him. All right. You get tanned a bit? Hey. How was Hawaii? It was great. Yeah. Aloha. <laughs> <gasps> He's been Hawaiianized. Hawaiianized. Uh, I can understand why. Well, you guys were off having fun. Things here have gotten a bit more complicated. Yeah. So I've heard the surprisingly hot items at the moment are masks and calling cards. Oh, shit. Here's a graph of the profits for stores handling these items. Damn. Double from last year. Phantom Thief goods seem to be in especially high demand. Well. I didn't know they sold that kind of stuff. Should we try too? I mean, selling Phantom Thief merchandise? Uh, like Phantom Thief curry? Maybe I'll toss some dry ice on the side, you know? Give it that phantom -y effect. <laughs> <laughs> um, I'm just joking, all right? Oh, no, I... I wonder how our guests consider this recent phenomenon. What do you think, Akechi-kun? Well... Well? There he is, the anti-thief detective. I hope he slips up and self-destructs. <laughs> Damn. I can sense some chivalry behind their actions. Oh. They are clever to take the silent resentments of the public into account and relieve them. Hmm. I believe that may be the secret to their popularity. Well, this is surprising. Your stance seems to have softened. Okay. This doesn't change the fact that they are dangerous. However, no, I shouldn't say anymore. Come huh. on, you can say it. What? Oh no, I won't be falling for that. I've learned my lesson after the previous backfire. These thieves are more popular than the police or politicians. Mm -hmm. What's the world coming to? 
It's a wild Red. thing. What are you so angry about? Hey, I'm gonna go to the bathroom. Take care of any customers that show up. Uh, Sojiro needs to check his uh, his proficiency levels. Been there, man. Been there. I finished the analysis. You know, of the data. Oh, Wanna yeah. Now? For sure. Oh, <laughs> jet lag. Seriously? Jet lag? Yeah. Then, tomorrow. Okay. All right. <sighs> hey, got a minute? You look sleepy. What? What? You got a minute? What do you, what you wanted to say? Attention, all ye jet lagged. Someone from Shujin came to LeBlanc yesterday. What? Who? Uh, he had messy hair and glasses. I don't know, just sounds like crispy to me. Oh, that's right, Maruki did stop by. Yeah, was his name Maruki? I think so, Dr. Maruki, the counselor. He said he was studying cognitive science. He's in that field too. You don't think he's connected to the incident with Futaba's mother? Oh no, I didn't get that vibe from him. He, a he seemed actually interested in cognitive science. It wasn't like he was just using it. You two got talking then. A little. He seemed nice. For a stranger to connect with Futaba is no easy feat. He must have quite a talent for this. I'm not sure talent is the word for it, but yeah, he's cool. What, you want to get him to counsel you too? I see no point in having my heart probed by an utter stranger. Truth, man. Still, I am curious as to how he managed to negate Futaba's usual reticence. I don't know. We just talk normally. But he's such a good listener, right? Maybe you ended up talking more than usual. So it's true. He does have some extraordinary effect. Surely he must have some greater insight. The better to espy the innermost truths of the heart. Holy shit, this dude has ESP? SP, to spy, to see or perceive. Makoto, is there any way you could arrange for me to meet him? What? Me? You want to meet him that badly? Please, I feel there is something here I must confirm for myself. Well, I can't make anything happen instantly, but I'll see what I can do. My sincerest thanks. I'll look forward to finally meeting him. A photo! I'm posting a photo I took in Hawaii. No, oh, cute. Oh, that's sweet. Ah, oh, the hibiscus, truly a flower of singular beauty. The vivid color complements the water too. Right? Too bad Ryuji had to ruin the shot. Dude, get real. A guy can't wear a flower in his hair. It's weird. I don't know. The guy next to you wears it like a champ. It's true. It's true. We do. Look at that. Oh, one more to share. The heck is that? It's intense. Not my style, though. If you're going to be that rude about it, I'm not lending it to you. Wait, you actually bought that thing? Yes, for sketching purposes. You're kidding. Did you seriously have the cash for that? When I showed them how much money I had, they lowered the price. Truly a land of generosity. Wow, that's like a max level haggling maneuver. <laughs> for real. Man, I wish I'd gotten a price cut. It was nothing of the sort. I simply expressed my passion to them. Language barriers are surprisingly easy to break through, as long as you can convey your feelings. Well, that was amazing. We are going to save here, save file number eight. Then we are gonna go here. Holy shit, that is, that is, wait. Wait, I didn't save. I thought I did save. I did? Oh, that is during the beach. Okay, okay, it says Waikiki Beach. Oh, yeah, I'm dumb, right there, yeah. Okay, okay, cool, 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 cool. Wait, wait. Ah! <laughs> no! What the fuck? Are you kidding me? <laughs> Oh, 
Uh, uh, just. Ah. Uh, uh, wow. <laughs> Uh, uh, <laughs> well, uh, uh, <laughs> oh, hey, hey, the Nijimas. You just got back from your trip and you're already studying? How diligent. Yeah. I have souvenirs for you. Sweet. The principal of Shujin Academy has passed away. Okay, we're just going straight to that. Okay. Well. Well. He suddenly stopped while crossing the road and was struck by a large vehicle. Death by external trauma. They say suicide seems to be a strong possibility. <laughs> principal Kobayakawa committed suicide? But would someone about to kill themselves try to go to the police station? Yeah, yeah. He even used a taxi to get there. Whoa. Do you mean this might be another incident? Uh huh. Even if he had a sudden shift in his state of mind, it's still unnatural. I can only suspect that he had a change of heart. Ah, uh, wow, and because it's connected to the school, it's gonna make it look like we killed him. Wow, nice. Are you saying he was targeted by the Phantom Thieves? But that's impossible. How are you so certain? Y yeah, oh shit, size good. Oh, she just flipped that whole script right onto Makoto. Oh no! Well, uh, in prior cases, the changes of heart seem to be done to make people confess their crimes. It's hard to explain, but this incident seems contradictory to their usual modus operandi. Hey, I love using that phrase. Did Principal Kobayakawa seem any different to you lately? Yes, actually. I don't really know. He rarely contacted the students, after all. I see. Could something have happened during the school trip? Oh, you're studying. I'm sorry to bother you. Makoto? Oh. Hmm? Oh. N never mind, it's nothing. Yeah, I got you souvenirs, by the way. Just don't get dragged into trouble, okay? Better tell the others. Oh boy. <sighs> it's our first time at school in a while. Oh, I'm so sleepy. You over your jet lag? Ah, uh, not yet. Still sluggish, huh? Well, same here, dude. Never mind that, though. Do you know about this? The Phantom Thieves are popular now. I was surprised when we got back to Japan. People are actually paying attention to who we're gonna target next. Ain't that amazing? I'm getting real psyched. This is where we work hard. Let's do something big again and surprise the world. Good morning. Good morning, Kurimu-senpai. And Sakamoto-senpai, correct? Oh, morning. You're back today too, huh? Yes, it's good to see you both. Um, may I join you two on the way to school? I want to talk a bit more about the trip, and I want to hear all of your stories from Hawaii. You got it. Should I start with all the heroic stuff me and this dude did for the people in Hawaii? Yes. Um, yes, that sounds great. Okay, I've been wanting these two to meet. Our sun boy and sun girl are going to, are going to actually hang out. Their big sporty energy and positivity and goofiness about you know what right with the principal yeah here we go and we will now begin the emergency morning assembly okay as many of you may already know mm. principal kobayakawa passed away yesterday yeah i wonder if that suicide one was for real <laughs> it happened in front of the police station didn't it yeah i think i was passing through there at the time the principal have been working hard to restore peace ever since the incident with Mr. Kamoshida. 
He only wished for everyone to be able to lead a normal school life. And because of that love... Love? Bullshit. He was covering <laughs> something up. Everyone's been talking about it. Yeah. Maybe it wasn't suicide. Do you think the Phantom Thieves took him down? The Phantom Thieves? Do they kill people? I mean, Kamoshida did say he was going to kill himself to make up for everything he did. Oh, boy. Oh, boy. Be amazing. Either way, it serves that principle right. Oh, God. Hell no. We didn't do jack shit. Shut up, Ryuji! We must for this, too. I would like to see everyone live up to our late principal's wishes as proud Shujin students. And... <sighs> Oh, oh, oh shit. Oh shit. Is this going to be a judgment rank up? I had noticed traces of tampering. Does that mean you truly took the oh. data from my laptop? Okay. No matter how I think about it, that would have been impossible unless Makoto was helping you. But she would never do something so foolish. And is it true that you were completely uninvolved with the Kobayakawa case? Yeah. Yeah, we don't kill. What does this mean? <sighs> but I suppose targeting someone at Shujin again and actually taking their life would be nonsensical. Right. It literally puts a target on our backs. I have no reason to believe everything you've said. Hmm. However, it seems you aren't the type of person who would lie just to protect themselves. I will acknowledge what I must. It's more efficient that way. Yeah, okay. The bomb of size growing deeper. All right. Interesting. All right. In any case, let's move on to the topic at hand. If you yeah. saw my investigation data, you would have had the same suspicions I did about Okumura. And if you looked into his palace, you should have seen the answer to those suspicions. Mm. Mm hmm. Tell me, what did the Phantom Thieves do to Okumura? What did you learn from him? Why did it turn out as it did? I need you to tell me everything. Hmm. Shit. Shit. Oh, I'm getting chills, y'all. I'm getting chills. <laughs> oh, boy. Before we talk about the data we got from Sis, we need to discuss the incident with the principal. Mm -hmm. People are already talking about it online. Yeah, this is getting hot. Nobody's saying it's because of the Phantom Thieves. So far. Yet. People think he did it because that tabloid exposed how he was covering up Kamoshida's abuses. Mm -hmm. Could it be that we're responsible for Principal Kobayakawa's suicide? What do you mean? That's a cool way to look at it, because from their perspective, that's kind of what makes sense. Is that people are confessing to things that, you know, they want to get out ahead of controversies and scandals and stuff. And this is just one that someone couldn't get out in front of from from their perspective if we hadn't changed Kamoshida's heart maybe this never would have happened but then Kamoshida would have kept doing what he did if we didn't go and take him down or hot take if you just changed Kamoshida's heart and nobody else you know but yeah there's a lot of opinions online it's only natural that he died covering up crimes is wrong the comments I've seen are similar as well. Only the Phantom Thieves are on our side. I wish the Phantom Thieves would take down the police and the politicians of this country. Oh boy. It's not just the news. There's even Phantom Thieves merchandise now. I never expected we'd end up such a big deal. It seems like the public would rather believe in us than in the adults. Yeah. People are trying to get the Phantom Thieves to solve societal problems, not just personal ones. Good insight, Yusuke. This is kind of scary. Are we really doing the right thing? I mean, the principal was covering stuff up, right? I guess he got what was coming to him. Damn. That's... 
Whoa, guys, let's get back on topic. Weren't we going to discuss the data we obtained from Nijima? Yeah. You tell them, Inari. Why me? Hmm. She likes to order you around. First, Prosecutor Nijima has been looking into the continued cases of people suddenly collapsing. It seems right. she is searching for a common thread to tie them all together. Some parts seem to be speculation, but she has cited a beneficiary of the majority of these incidents. Okay. The corporation Okumura Foods, or prominently its CEO, Kunikazu Okumura. Okay, cool. So we now have an actual organization name that could be the center point for probably the funding of whatever the like like the major antagonist like group is because if you've got something that like if you've got something of like some kind of like some like some kind of conspiracy you would need on some level a means by which the money can be moved relatively easily so we're we're probably more likely meeting our Gus Fring equivalent than we are meeting like someone like that's that big in the uh, the organization. Yeah. Okumura. I feel like I've heard that name somewhere. From Big Bang Burger. Yep. Big Bang Burger? For real? <laughs> and then there's you another know, one. They only got famous sometime in the past few years. Really? They're that new? They even had a branch in Hawaii. It says here they benefited both from scandals and the resignations of their competitors' executives. That would seem to be the case. Yeah. This is too suspicious, though. Only one CEO is profiting from these seemingly accidental incidents. I mean, based on the data, but yeah. I think it's natural to suspect he's intentionally causing them. I get that, but or more, Or more accurately, connected to the people that are intentionally causing them. We have even more evidence than that. Oh. Tell them, Futaba. What? What do we got? They already tried putting Okumura's name in the NAF. He oh. has a palace for sure. Okay. Okay. There we go. That's huge. That settles it then. He's totally our next target. But you have more. That's right. Okumura is at the top of the rankings after all. Hold on. That doesn't necessarily mean he's evil. If we jump into this too carelessly, mm -hmm. beyond that, this Phantom Thieves fad is... Unsettling. This could also be a really good bait situation as well. Because the idea that the public knows about Okumura being someone that should be put at the top of the list feels also a bit too sus as well. Because odds are there'd be way more like popular people at the top of the list. And since this company is relatively new, that actually doesn't make sense that their CEO would be near the top. You'd almost expect to see people that are like celebrities at the top, you know? Like way, way bigger uh, people in terms of influence profiles, you know? Yeah, the excitement levels don't feel normal. We might want to let things calm down a bit first. Might be too late for that. You too, on? You're just gonna go against what people want? Huh? No, but... For real? <laughs> Unprompted and everything. <laughs> looks like we're not gonna agree today then. Yeah. Sheesh, it's good. Some team you are. What's with all the hesitation? I can't stand this. Good. Now Mona's emotions are gonna get let out here in this moment. This is this is good. This is good. Cause then we can finally address what's going on with uh with that. Even you, Ryuji. You just back down the second someone disagrees with you. What? <laughs> I guess all you've been talking about is using the Phantom Thieves' name to pick up girls anyway. Oh! Okay! Here we go! Here we go! We're calling people out! Being hyped up because of the popularity is fine, but getting conceited over it is unacceptable. Hey, aren't you acting for your own benefit here too? My appearance might have changed, but I'm still an admirable human. At the very least, I'm more admirable than some carnal blonde monkey. Oh, 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 whoa! 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 You little... That was... That was a bit much. I can take on some small-time target like Okumura on my own. Wait! Sorry, but it looks like I'll be getting the credit for solving the mental shutdown mystery. 
Well, she was more useful than you, as a matter of fact. <laughs> you went from calling him out to then being like, I'm gonna do this all on my own. I... Okay. Hey, that's inexcusable! I'm going to show you who the useless one actually is. Damn. All right, then. Bring it on! Ryuji, stop! Looks like I don't belong here after all. Wow. Well, this is goodbye. Yeah, what's gotten into you? Morgana, wait! See you. Hmm. <sighs> I bet he's back in no time. No, I think this is good. Usually when characters like this leave the story at about this point, they come back like later near the end with really good info. Damn it. You know, to be useful like <laughs> again. I'm human. I have to be. Oh, Mona. <sighs> All right. I've managed by myself before. And I can do it again now. You just need to take down Okumura before those guys do. Okay. Oh, hey! Huh? That kitty. Ooh, I ooh, can't ooh, believe ooh, this. Ooh, ooh. The public believes in the justice of the Phantom Thieves. They have no interest in that principle. I'm experiencing equal levels of frustration. My comments on TV turned everyone against me. Then again, I won't allow mere criticism to break my spirit so easily. We won't keep letting ourselves be defeated either. My suspicion after the hacker's case last month is now conviction thanks to the principal's death. Damn. The mental shutdown cases and the psychotic breakdowns are surely the Phantom Thieves doing. Oh. I remember the data you showed me about Akumara Foods. Is that the basis for these beliefs? There have been frequent occurrences of mental shutdowns surrounding Okumura recently. Mm -hmm. If only there was a clear connection between him and the Phantom Thieves. Okay. Okay, so this plan leads to us being in Okumura's palace in such a way that Okumura probably dies. But... If they are wanting the Phantom Thieves to be the ones that take the kind of the the moniker of the villains in this in this story, then you have to have it be like demonstrably obvious to the public and the masses what they did, which would mean it would almost have to be like displayed in some way. See, that's the thing that's that's the thing that's weird about this is I like that there's clearly some way in which Akechi is involved because of his subtle influencing of Sai, but also the way in which he's not effective at whatever his manipulations are like ultimately goal like towards because Obviously, he dislikes the Phantom Thieves from, like, a justice principle standpoint. But there's also clearly, like, an organization that he's either, like, working for or, like, connected with in some way. And they have something more than this. And that's why they're connected to, like, you know, multiple parties and stuff. And it's just, like, I really, I really got to know how this palace goes. Yeah. Like, like, there's, there's some, there's some shit. It's gonna go very differently in this palace, but I can't I can't see things being scaffolded or built up to like anything specific right now, other than maybe Okumura dying. But even then, we just saw someone die in a way that made it look like it could be the Phantom Thieves doing. So is it more maybe that? <sighs> hmm. Well, it would be problematic if there wasn't one. So, you're jumping the gun here. You really told a man you would terminate his parental authority based purely on your speculation? Whoa. Whoa. 
Oh. I'm surprised you would say such a thing to the owner of a cafe you frequent. It's all for the sake of the case. There it is. It's all getting connected there. Oh, shit. You may have the backing of the SIU's director, but you've been far too aggressive, sai -san. You're trespassing into police territory. Don't say nobody warned you if this becomes an issue later. Hmm. My superiors told me the same thing. We first need to know what methods the Phantom Thieves are using. The police can't make a move unless that becomes apparent, after all. Literally what I was just saying earlier! Whatever happens to Okumura, it needs to be... It needs to become evidence in order for them to do anything about it. Which means it needs to be displayed in some kind of manner. It needs to be observed, recorded, um captured in some in some manner but that that involves also a capturee a recordee you know some someone that's going to like actually do that part at the very least this opponent can't be caught by following the rules what need is there to stick to formalities so you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society uh, i love when the character that has that like sussy vibe about them says the villain line kind of thing so casually and it's like so you wish to ignore protocol in order to reform society it's like wow you really jumped to the the, the all the way to that end of things there a catchy <laughs> i hope you realize that's no different than what the phantom thieves are doing it's a shame especially since we both want to capture the culprit behind the psychotic breakdowns Whoa. I really messed up. Whoa. Shall we dispose of it? Morgana. Okay. We're in some kind of high tech place. Leave it be. We do not have time to waste on a solitary feline. Oh shit. Is this really impossible alone? How horrible. Wait, that's that's her. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, have you seen Morgana? Oh my god, the, the the game's not letting up now. So, weren't those shadows? Morgana was in the cognitive world and she was in there and what is happening? Like we are we are in we are in wild wild territory right now. Okay. Um uh, no, haven't. I see. I just kind of expected he'd come home when he got hungry. Oh, maybe he went to someone else's place. Let's ask. Hmm. Morgana's still not back. Huh? He hasn't come home yet? The food's still in his bowl. Do you think he really just took off like that? He's a cat, so it's possible he got into an accident. Does he really seem to be the type who would go off and die on us like that, though? It's just been one day! Y'all are worrying too much! He's probably just off doing his own stuff. I mean, he's used to live alone, remember? Just don't worry about it. I'm sure he'll come back if something happens. Aren't they all being way too cold about this? Kinda, yeah. Oh well. Have a good day. Damn. I'm loving the interactions that we're getting, though. This is this is this There's is crazy no one fun. Like the I don't buy that. Our principal's death was an accident. I think the Phantom Thieves killed him. You think the Phantom Thieves murdered him? Why? Think about Kamoshida's victims. The principal's just as guilty for keeping quiet about it all. People who take advantage of others for their own personal gain need to disappear. In fact, we need a scumbag cleansing to purify the world. There it is. There it is, all right. All right, yep, yep. This is so crazy. I wanna go, I wanna go all the way back to myself at the beginning of this game. I remember there was, there were like, there were like multiple times 
where I was looking at the way that the kids were phantom, like the the phantom thieves, the kids were kind of doing things and not looking at where the eventual logical conclusion of things is. And the fact that we're here already and it's September, like, ugh. <sighs> yeah, yeah. Oh my God. I just remembered, there are rumors that President Okumura, Okumura may be getting into politics. It is true that the current administration is, inco inco is incompetent in a number of ways. I would love to have a charismatic man like him leading the country. Oh shit. Wait, he's getting into politics? Oh, okay. I think I see where this is all connecting here. Guys, wait. Wait, wait. Wait, 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 wait. If you had the ability to change the hearts of the masses, the most powerful position you could put yourself into would be a politician. But you wouldn't just want one. You'd need to have a bunch of them. You'd need to have a party that you could then create that would be built around this idea of having guaranteed not only votes for getting you into office, but for then specifically then people that then you could vote in to then have any kind of policy, any kind of utilization of of of, of resources. You could you could you could take over the world this way. Like this yeah. Fuck, there it is. There it is. So the reason why we don't necessarily have some kind of ultimate evil, you know, single focused villain right now is not because they're just being, they're saving themselves waiting in the background, because they, they could be, they could be for sure. But it's the idea that no, a cabal, like a group of people came together under the idea of well, we have this ability. We have people or persons or what have you that can use it. Let's build our power base and then establish ourselves as a group of politicians that will slowly but surely take over Japan and then take over the world. Yeah, it's, it's the ultimate way in which you can bring the themes of the story about the adults basically, you know, having that kind of constant power and society being fucked up in that way. Yep, that's, yeah, 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 okay, yeah, yeah. It, it's all, it's all clicking now. Like, cause, cause this is something that I, I'd kind of been like, kind of on the scent of with the idea of um, the way things had been focused on politics. But the idea that Okumura, who's clearly not like the end all be all, he's just some guy that's probably gonna get murked here. If even he's in politics, that shows how much of a network that this is, not just one or two or three big bads with like a bunch of lieutenants that don't know what they're doing and they're all being manipulated and they're all like the principal who can just get offed if they go the wrong way, but they're they're building they're building all the necessary components that you would need to then have a, a group of either leaders or soldiers for a hostile takeover of at the very least Japan. I'm I'm just now realizing that the way in which the way in which this is scary, I've been thinking about this from the we're playing a JRPG standpoint. And one of the things that is uh rather rather assumed, I would say about any kind of JRPG is, chat, tell it to me. When you start a JRPG, what do you do? You hang out with your friends, you cook, you meet some, you know, you, you do some, some chill stuff or what have you. But where do JRPGs end? Yep. We gotta kill God. Yeah. Now, now, if we have ourselves a very, you know, human, organization cabal group that is trying to effectively take over the world, they are trying to effectively make themselves into a pantheon of gods, right? So they are trying to become as gods. So yes, unironically, <laughs> the sun god, <laughs> final boss, <laughs> yeah. 
<laughs> exactly! The idea that the people that we're, we're fighting right now, that we're, we're dealing with, are all proxies for, in some ways, a... And this could be interesting. This is the way I'm, this is the way I'm gonna go off the deep end here, because I don't think this is necessarily the way it's gonna go. But I think that all these, uh, you know, aspiring politician, this cabal organization shadow group, or what have you, is doing, is warping things through mementos in enough of a manner that they can effectively control the minds of the collective subconscious and all that. But the issue is that that's probably too much for them to actually be able to control. So what's going to happen is they're probably going to either birth a god or they're going to tap into the actual god of humanity's collective unconscious. Like, it's either going to be too big for them to even control or it's going to be something that we're going to have to actually defeat, you know, like, like, <laughs> yeah, yeah. All right. Well, anyhow, done cooking for now. I just, I, I just, ha I just had to go off there. Hey, come straight home once school's over, okay? Uh, what's wrong? We're going to wait together in case Morgana comes home. Anyway, come straight home. I wonder what's up with Morgana, though. You should just hurry and come back. Fine. Whoa! Whoa! Oh, shit! Another one. So who's Mona working with? Oh shit! Is Floof Girl is Floof Girl already in here? Like, like, but like already like doing shit in here, not just aware but active. Is that some kind of like a Robin Hood outfit? Yeah, the same kind of skirt profile Mona's silhouette. Home. Oh, oh, there's the uh, there's the guy on I'm TV. Sure he'll come back when he gets hungry. On to our next story. Late last night, multiple glass windows were found shattered at the Okumura Foods corporate headquarters. Oh shit! Hey, this is that. This is that Okumura. Other damages have also been reported, including the destruction of a statue depicting Mr. Okumura. Oh. Oh. This is the kind of public stuff that can then make it seem like this can this is the kind of public stuff that can make it seem like it's a calling card of sorts for Okumura. Hmm. Wonder if someone's got a grudge against that guy. And he's at the top of the list on the fan site. However, there were no signs of a break-in. Identifying the culprit is expected to be difficult. No, 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 no. If it was the fan site getting just general people riled up, then they wouldn't say this. They wouldn't say this. It would just be really, it would be just really easy to find out who it was, you know? You think Mona charged in there by himself? Uh, yeah, it's possible. Yeah, he may not seem like it sometimes, but he's totally a capable cat when he wants to be. Either way, let's go to Okumura's palace tomorrow. I'll contact everyone. Just tomorrow. Oh, uh oh, uh oh. Sojo's getting sus of us. Okay. Wait! I just realized. No, I don't want to go into the palace now. If Mona's not here, he can't tell us what to do. We can do whatever we want. Freedom! Morgana went into Okumura's palace. Is that true, Futaba? He did say he'd go alone. Does that mean he's in danger? The chances of that are highly likely. Yeah, we should all go in after him. The palace is most likely at their corporate headquarters. I'll look into it a little more. All right, let's do it. I gotta look into those mental shutdown things too. I'd prefer a little more caution, but this is an emergency. Then we'll go tomorrow. Don't forget everyone. I'm guessing this is gonna just max our kindness anyway, regardless of whether this is boosted. So let's just do it. This plant got a little healthier. Yep, there we go. Maximum kindness! All right. We are now angelic. 
Oh shit! Here we go. This place is huge. Here we go. It is the headquarters of a large corporation, after all. If anything, getting into the real building is impossible. Mona seriously went to a palace based on somewhere like this? It's definitely yeah. on a different scale than the ones we've dealt with previously. I searched Okumura online. He's totally up to something. Don't you think he's guilty too? Yeah, we'll know so soon enough. I'm positive I'm right. We're here for Mona. I know, I know. We gotta make sure we squeeze the juice on those mental shutdown things out of him too. Yeah. You said you found the palace keywords, right, Futaba? The corporate HQ is outer space. Wow. Huh? The hell? Oh, so that's why it's called Big Bang Burger. Big Bang is space lingo, you know? <laughs> <laughs> um, not necessarily. So the concept behind the store branch name came from the CEO himself. Hmm. Outer space, hmm? How exciting. We better be able to breathe once we get in there. Is everyone ready? Yeah, let's try I'm it. Activating it now. Oh shit! Oh shit! Oh my god! Whoa! Whoa, whoa, whoa! You're already considered. Whoa, whoa, whoa! Oh! 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 Choto mate! President Okumura must be on guard, what with everything that's been in the news. That bastard. He's just causing more trouble for us. Whoa! Yeah, yeah, exactly, exactly. It's as though we're in a film. This music, though. Sketchbook. <laughs> Immediately. Mm, yes. Oh, look at you, Earth. You're gorgeous. Hey. Uh, Mona might be in here somewhere. Yeah. Come on, we gotta get looking for him. Where are you? Where are you, you motherfucker? Where are you? Where are you? Where are you? You little shit. Eavesdropping on us, following us! You motherfucker, where are you? Where are you? Oh my god, this is crazy. Holy shit, look! I think that's Earth over there. All the other palaces have seemed out of this world, but this one's really in space. Pull the lever, crunk. Hey. Hmm, what's this? Let's see here. Looks like a lever for the elevator to me. All right. And it should be working now. For real? You're amazing, Oracle. <laughs> <laughs> that was nothing. I'm certainly, it's certainly reassuring having you with us. Anyway, let's try using the elevator. Oh boy. I can see it. Here we go. Oh, hmm? Huh? What's all that noise? Is that robots? There are tons of them. They're like employees, yeah. They all have the Big Bang Burger logo. Yeah. They're saying something. You must adhere to your shifts. Oh, the manager, yeah. If you don't like it, you can quit. However, you will not be compensated. Damn. What are they talking about? Here we go. Oh. They said it's being disposed of. These robots are part of Okumura's cognition. Correct? Yeah. Yeah, it's a that bit too real. They represent Amazon warehouses be like. This is pure speculation. <laughs> but this is most likely how the workers of Okumura Foods are viewed by their CEO. Yeah. So he thinks they're his robots? If they're treated like this in reality as well, then the company truly is exploiting them. Damn. See? Okumura is a piece of shit, just like I said! Mona is our main objective here. Okay. He doesn't seem to be anywhere nearby. 
Let's search further in. All right. Damn it. <laughs> oh. I wonder what Mona's doing in here. We need to find him fast. Focus. Huh? Hold on what? a second, Joker. Whoa. The door has closed. Is there any way by which we can open it? Performing biometric authentication. This is... What does it mean by that? Authorization error. Only registered personnel may proceed past this point. Oh, the this security is... system might be a bit of a problem. The hell's up with this? Look at it. There's no way we can force that thing open. I love that they animated Ryuji actually like slamming into it and like giving it a little kick for good measure. We've hit a blockade quite early. Yeah. But we have to control the real Okumura's cognition to pass. Oh, that means Mona hasn't been able to proceed any further either. No, not necessarily. It might be just the security level is higher because Mona has been doing shit in here. So if he's here in the palace, he would have to be somewhere before this door. Hold, vigilante! Oh! Floof? That? Floof? <sighs> oh, cool! That was close. Could she be? A black mask? Wait, is she the one Madarame and Kanashiro were talking about? No, no, come on, come on, y'all. No, no. So she's the reason for all those people going brain dead? Ah! Uh, ah! Uh, okay, let's let let's let them let's let them cook. Let's let them cook. You know, come on. You know, it could be. Are you the one who has been following us? Say something, damn it! <laughs> Enough of your misunderstandings. What? Mona. What? What? You're okay. <gasps> hey. Long time no see, Panther. Uh, hasn't been that long. Yeah. If you came for the treasure, you should just go home with your tail between your legs. This this camera angle. <laughs> Actually, we were looking for you. The treasure will be taken by me, and this. This what? This beauty thief. <laughs> yes. Beauty thief? <laughs> I'll have you know she's a persona user too. Hell yeah. Yeah, totally. Yeah, just dies of cringe. Ugh. <laughs> My name is Beauty Thief. Sure. She really called herself that? <laughs> Any tension that was in the air <laughs> just out the window. I know! I know, Yusuke, I know! Oh my god! Uh, it's so self-aware. Oh, uh, uh, so good. Uh. We will take the treasure! Ona already said that. <laughs> yeah. You are not qualified to be phantom thieves. Do you even understand what it means to be a phantom thief? An admirable phantom thief is... Oh my god. She wants to be just like them. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. You, what do you think it means? <laughs> um, one who helps the weak. Yes, that's right. <laughs> Chat. You started it. Mona, who the hell is she? Wait, I'll fix this. Uh, oh, oh. Oh. You. Oh, oh, wait, 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 wait. Morgana is cooking. Wait, 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 wait. Me? I got it. She's the way that Morgana hasn't been caught yet. Yeah. Huh? And you, you're very vulgar and very stupid. Oh! <laughs> These are all the things Morgana has been wanting to say to them. Yeah, yeah, go, yeah, you go, tell them, yeah, yeah. What? 
Skips, skips Futaba entirely. Futaba is precious and pure, and there will be no roasting of Futaba. Futaba is wonderful, and we 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 protect, and that's just that's just the way it is. What was it again? You came all the way here just to say that. And wait, and he skipped Makoto as well, probably because he's so scared of her. <laughs> Kind of feels like she ain't dangerous at all. Oh my god. We will take the treasure. God, the pose. You already said that. We don't have time to chat. See, now they're actual like phantom thieves you'd see in like a, you know, in like a movie or what have you. They they're they're way too you know full of themselves, way too goofy. No one takes them seriously. Yeah, the theatrics are on point, but yeah, yeah. Saturday morning cartoon, exactly. What? No point. It won't open. Don't underestimate us. No, don't underestimate her. The Daleks are here! The Daleks are here! <laughs> here they come. <laughs> Wait. Snap out of it. We need to go. We'll meet up later at our usual spot. Let's hurry. Wait, what? What? Oh, hey. What? What 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 what, what, what was that? Bet you're tired. I'm so confused. Uh, that was quite rough. I haven't felt exhaustion like this since I first awakened to my persona. All right, sure. What have you been looking at all this time? Sorry, I just didn't want to stand around and wait. The burglary at Okumura Foods is circulating the news again. Okay. Oh, damn it. Why'd they keep coming after only me? It's all because Little Miss Beauty Thief opened that door. Exactly. Exactly. She's got the, the biometrics, so... That door most likely had a biometric authentication lock. Mm -hmm. So how'd she get it to open? That means she's supposed to be there. What it probably is... Oh, God, there's so many things this could be. I'm gonna cook again. I'm gonna cook again. I'm gonna cook again. If you have the desire to then take over the world or something like that, you would need soldiers. And you would then, by extension, recruit people to then monitor specific areas within the cognitive world. That's probably what she's doing. Keep watch. Shoot, she might literally be there to watch out for the Phantom Thieves because they totally know who we are. And, and if she goes to Shujin, or if she was not necessarily just bumping into us at specific places and times at Shujin, specifically to watch and spy on us, maybe. I wonder who that girl could be. Someone with priority access. We were told that she's a Persona user, correct? Do you believe it's true? And Mona is having to pretend to be with her so that he can avoid all the, the situations there. And obviously she's gonna end up, you know, she's gonna end up joining us, but it's the, under what circumstances will we convince her to join us? Probably because, well, wait, no, 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 no. She doesn't know that we're the Phantom Thieves because she maybe thought that we were also fake Phantom Thieves. I, I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm now realizing I'm, I'm way off, like just in general here. Well, she did look like one. Did Mona betray us? No, no. Of course not. I want to believe that too. I don't think he's betrayed us. Yeah. If he had, it'd make more sense for him to directly threaten us, such as exposing our identities. Yeah, yeah. Either way, how the hell's Morgana related to that beauty thief? Considering her tone and physique, she looked about our age. I feel like I've seen her somewhere. <laughs> uh, for real? Where at? Where? I the I wonder. School, I think. Wait, what? 
Good, good. Let her cook. I feel like I've seen her too. Is she a student of Shujin? I just feel like that's the case. She did have a mask on after all. The registry in the student council room has photos of every student. Oh my god. Let's check them all tomorrow. If we can figure out the identity of the beauty thief, that may help us regain contact with Morgana. The hat helps more than the mask. Yes, exactly. Futaba and I should further probe into Okumura foods then. It'd be best if we investigate how sudden mental shutdowns are connected to them. See, we have to give them a little bit of credit. They don't have a pause button where they can sit there and focus on who it is. We're gonna take them down. Hell yeah. Things are really starting to heat up online. People are going on and on about, on and on bashing Okumura foods. Apparently they've been secretly using low quality ingredients brought in from overseas. Furthermore, any employees who were suspicious of Okumura were let go without reason. That coupled with the mysterious death of a rival seat company's CEO. What's this all of a sudden? Things are going up in flames. I don't really get what kicked it off though. People have been coming after us too. They think we should just hurry up and punish him. Mm. Yeah, that's irresponsible. They're just acting like spectators or something. It wasn't like this just a few days ago, though. Could there perhaps have been a whistleblower from within? Come on, we've got even more reason to take Okumura down now. Can we really accept all of this information as truth, though? Either way, we need to do something about Morgana. Yep. Anyway, see you all tomorrow. No. <laughs> Found her. Man, this girl's hot. Never mind. Fucking Ryuji. Ah, but she's younger than me. Ryuji. No way. She's the same age as me. She looks like my dad's friend. Wait, what is your dad doing on? Get back to work. Why don't we take a break? It's no surprise our concentration is waning. Even All right. if it's only the female students, there are easily hundreds of them. Oh They're boy! All starting to look the same to me. Think we can really find her? Yeah, I'm sure. Someone sure is confident. Hmm. This girl. There we go. Haru Okumura. <gasps> Okumura? Oh wait! Oh shit! Whoa, why the- Whoa! Wait! Wait! Oh! Family! I was like, huh, okay. What? What? <laughs> Wasn't the beauty thief like this too? Uh huh. Especially the fluffy hair. That's gotta be her. The floofy hair? It would also explain how she got past the door's biometric reader. Mm hmm. This may be worth looking into. But. Why was she at the palace? Yes, good Maybe question. Just make us build the beans herself. She may have already gone home for the day, so let's try tomorrow. I'm gonna lock up. I'll see you all tomorrow. Okay, cool. This girl, it's Haru Okumura. Come on, move. Uh, that looks heavy. Would you happen to be interested in gardening? Sure, yeah. <gasps> Great vegetables! <laughs> really? <laughs> in that case... Let's get some great vegetables. If you could help me unload this? Mm-hmm. Boys sure are strong. Thank you. You're a second year, aren't you? That makes me just a tad older. Okay, yeah. Um, have we met somewhere before? Uh, well. Oh, I haven't introduced myself yet. I'm Haru Okumura, correct? Oh, Makoto just being like, you talking to my man? You talking to my man? I'm watching you. Watching you. The only daughter of Kunikazu Okumura, CEO of Okumura Foods. <laughs> Care to explain why you were inside your father's palace? 
Makoto's like learning from Sai. She's in front of the mirror. And she goes, boom, like, where were you on the No. Slam. And she's like, no. Slam? Mm. Slam! <laughs> oh, so that's where we met. Wow, you figured it out in just a day. You looked really good in that biker gang outfit. Yeah. Let's not talk about that. <laughs> So, why did you become a phantom thief? <sighs> oh. Oh. My father's highly regarded as a manager, but I had various... doubts about him. Things oh. have grown quite serious lately. So she's a fan. Okay. 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 That's why I want to make amends, even though it may only be for my own satisfaction. Oh, let's recruit her. This will be easy then. This is good. But I wonder if this is just running from the problem. Where did you meet Morgana? It was pure coincidence. Yeah. I found a lonely looking cat in front of our office building. And that was Morgana? Mm hmm. And when I followed him, I ended up in the metaverse. She just got off screen awakened, or is she not actually awakened yet? There's no way for me to change my father's company. But if I became a phantom thief, I thought I'd at least be able to change him. Okay. Okay. Isn't there any way we can work together? I can't cooperate with people who don't know what they want to do. What you're doing is unnecessarily causing a stir among the public. Oh. Besides, the phantom thieves who should be helping the weak are not helping their own teammate. Uh. <laughs> All right. I just want my father to atone for his crimes. And help Monachan, who gave me a chance to do just that. Sure. But aren't our objectives the same? It'd be better if we work. No, thank you. I will do this with Monachan and him alone. Hmm. She hit quite a sore spot. We don't know what we want to do, huh? Mm -hmm. It seems getting her cooperation won't be possible. Let's consult with the others on our next move. Hmm. We shouldn't ignore Morgana either. Okay. Interesting. I'm home, father. Oh, cool. Okay, okay. Drive them away. That's right. Make it a priority. Uh, I finally get a foothold into politics and this happens. Phantom thieves? Huh. Did the media ask you anything? No, not at all. Um, what's this about phantom thieves? Yeah. It seems I'm ranked first on the forum of these so-called phantom thieves. Is it because of the news coverage? It's jealousy of the successful. Nothing but the barks of the masses who lack the resolve to sacrifice what's needed for their well-being. <laughs> wow. Oh, okay, okay. All right, dude. All Both right. The young and the old are overjoyed with some foolish idols. This country has no future. <laughs> oh, okay. What okay. What if they do exist? What if these phantom thieves really can steal hearts? Are you still having doubts about me? No. Still. Interesting. Interesting. More importantly, I hope things are going well with that young man. Yes, father. Very well, then. Oh. He may not seem like it, but he's still the son of an influential politician. Be cordial with him. He'll eventually become a necessary connection for this company. Or rather, for me. Okay. I understand. I will do the best I can. Good. That's how a daughter of Okumura should be. So she's got some kind of arranged dealio. Wow, we're moving things along quickly. We are having all our days just taken away. 
You're going to apologize when Mona comes, all right? Imagine if we had Kawakami rank 10 at this point. The amount of free bonus time slots we'd have. Just, just available. Wouldn't matter? Still be railed? Oh my god. Okay, well that, that makes me feel a little bit better. I know already. And, and why are you just saying that to me? We need to be wary of the beauty thief too. So we're doing a stakeout here. We'd better be ready for the long haul. Ain't he gonna show up today? I mean, what time is it now? Hold that thought. Oh. What? Oh! <gasps> you guys are seriously slacking off way too much. Nope. Do you have business with us? Gotcha, bitch. <laughs> Aren't you fulfilling the requests on the Phantom Aficionado website? Even leaving comments? It'd be best if you don't accept them so recklessly. The police will track you down in no time. If that were to happen, we'd be caught up in it as well. Uh, that's not what I intended. But that would be my fault. Aww. Uh, I'm actually not that great with machines. I'm truly sorry. Why are you apologizing? <laughs> They're telling us for our sake. We should be thanking them. <laughs> Won't you please put what happened behind us? <laughs> so I'm the one you're here for? Yeah. You guys need me after all? Is that it? Yeah. We need you. You're never gonna go with us in any missions, but we need you. Yeah. Really? <laughs> Ryuji's like, Bro, I've been on the team once in the past like 80 hours of game or the last like 50 hours of gameplay. And he's useful? Like Ryuji! We're sorry too, Morgana. We weren't taking your feelings into consideration at all. Lady on. Uh, everyone, shouldn't you be using code names? <laughs> Ryuji didn't really mean what he said, you know? <laughs> he wants to apologize. Well, it's like, it was my bad too. I mean, I don't mind if you're not human or if you're useless. What a douche. <sighs> On setup was completely ruined. Yeah. Oh, is that right? So I am just some useless cat to you guys. You're so full of yourselves, but do you have the skills to back that up? Try and catch me then. Oh my Come god. On, if you can't do this, don't count on me ever coming back. Oh my gosh. There they go. Did he even think about how long he made us wait? Fine, we'll do this. Jeez, this isn't what we came here to do. All right. No. Look, there he is. We need to go after him and talk things through. Are you telling me we have to do a chase mission through Mementos without the car? Ugh. Piece of cake. Hm. I won't let myself get caught by someone like you. Hmm, we are facing a car here. Does it not seem somewhat reckless to chase him on foot? I'm okay. You sure give up easy. There are dead ends all over this floor. We can do this if we manage to corner him in one. Oh, it's that mechanic from the from the pyramid area. That's right. <laughs> hey, you're trapped now. Hm, how naive. You really think you've captured me? <laughs> Shit, look out! Sheesh, what would he have done if he had ran if he ran us over? Hey. Stop complaining and let's get after him again. Okay. Wonderful, we have reached him. Mona, will you listen? Shut up! You have got nothing to talk about with you guys. <sighs> yeah, not again. There'll be no end at this rate. Huh? What was that? It came from over there. Let's go take a look. <laughs> that idiot crashed. Hey! Yep. Mona, are you okay? 
You gotta hear us out, Morgana. <sighs> there's nothing I have to talk to you about. Come on. There's no need to keep being so stubborn. I can't just give in like this. I have my pride to protect. I don't give a fuck about your pride, bro. Like, really, really, I, I do not care. Cultural differences or whatever. No. I actually... No. No. <gasps> What's that over there? Oh my god. Are we all gonna fall for it? Huh? <laughs> <laughs> Shoot. It seems we've fallen for the oldest trick in the book. Uh, those two. It'll never end at this rate. What do we do now? I don't hear the sound of his engine at all. Could they have left Mementos? Let's teleport to a rest spot ahead and just wait again. Her lack of vehicle puts us at a severe disadvantage. We should probably just head home for today. Damn it! Freaking Morgana! Uh... This is so dumb. <laughs> Serves them right. Are you sure that was what you wanted? Of course it was. Uh, like, this would be fine. This would be fine if what the Phantom Thieves were doing wasn't surrounding, like, massive societally important aspects there. And Morgana had actually more than one person in the party that he actually had a problem with. Ryuji is literally the one person in the party that is, like, kind of the, the one that he's kind of got his issues with. But it's more that... Uh, it's more that Morgana's got his own issues with himself. I, I generally like the stories where they go on their own kind of soul-searching stuff off-screen, and we don't have to sit there and get dragged along while he figures out this stuff. Ay, ay, ay. You made me look everywhere for you. Whoa. What were you doing somewhere without any reception? Out late with guys, that's it, isn't it? Oh, is this the arranged marriage relationship or whatever guy? I would never do such a thing. Come on, let me have some fun too, will ya? Uh. Can't you do that for me? Uh. Haru! You little... Let go of Haru! <laughs> Bite! <laughs> The goddamn cat! <laughs> oh! Oh shit! Damn it! I am useless. Someone? Anyone? Is anybody out there? Will you shut up, you stupid cat? Damn that Morgana! He is so getting it the next time we run into him. Is that Mona's voice? Hey, over there! That doesn't seem right to me. Please! Uh, let go! Oh, we're here. Okay. Mona! The hell are you doing to our friend? Sorry about the disturbance. Yeah. It's just a... Uh... Lovers quarrel with my fiance. Yeah. Fian what? But she's clearly fighting you. How dare you make a fool of me? I'll be telling your father about this too. Shit. I won't forget your faces. Shit. Are you okay? I'm fine, but Mona-chan. Oh. This is nothing. Was that person really your fiance? Whoa, so you're engaged then? <laughs> that didn't seem like an ordinary fight though. Shouldn't you talk to your parents about it? Hey, about that. I think it'd be useless. Oh no, the word! <laughs> I'll just be told to beg for his forgiveness. Even if it means groveling on the ground. Oh jeez. Oh my god. <laughs> well, it seems she has her reasons. Okay. I'll, um, 
apologize about what happened earlier. So... Would you let Haru rest for a while? Of course. We'll take her to your place, yeah? Yeah. Thanks. Alright, good. That's over. Okay. Cool. Finally. I'm sorry. I fell asleep. Yeah, Ryuji was first to act. Yeah, that was cool. Did you get enough rest? Mona-chan? Anyway, it's just as I told you a moment ago. I can't have you guys risk your lives anymore for someone useless like me. To be frank, there's no assurance that I'll turn back into a human either. That's this can't true. be called a fair deal. That's why I think we should split up. Hmm. <laughs> Who said we're acting as phantom thieves for your sake? I'm doing it to expand my own horizons. Hmm. No need to tiptoe around the situation. We're splitting up. You should stop lying. Yeah. Do you remember what you said to me when I found you collapsed in the metaverse? Oh, here we go. Haru! That you're a phantom thief. That you're going to get stronger and have the others acknowledge you. You love being here. Don't you? Oh! Oh! Of course not. I was lying to myself too. But when I formed a contract with my persona, I understood it all. Oh, okay. Doing this because my father okay. is doing something horrible was nothing but a superficial reason. Ooh. The truth is, I don't want to get married, right? Yeah. I thought that since an adult with responsibilities made the decision, it couldn't be wrong. Ooh. Okay. Okay. Okay, I see where we could go with her arc then. Yeah. I was All right, I love fool, it. Tied down by vague notions and stayed quiet as my marriage partner was chosen. But I won't tolerate this anymore. Okay. I can't stand that creep! <sighs> That's how I truly feel. All right. Why are you looking at me all of a sudden? <laughs> Mona-chan, why is it that you always talked about becoming human again? Yeah. Whoa. That's... Yeah. At first, I only thought of this team as a temporary dwelling until I regained my memories. Ooh, there we go. But I wasn't oh. making any progress on finding out what I am or why I was born. Oh. Morgana. I wanted a reason of my own. A reason to stay with the Phantom Thieves. I don't have anyone I want to save or get revenge on. Someone like me has no reason to stay here. That's why, to me, Aww. this team is, come on, say it. You can do it. You're like family. It's the only place I can belong. I want to stay here forever. Oh, that was refreshingly honest. There we go. <laughs> you should have just said so from the start, jeez. If you stick with me, there's no telling what kind of trouble will come up. You better be sure about this. Why? Morgana, are you still keeping secrets? For fuck's sake, bro. If you're gonna be honest like this, just let us know everything you know already. Fuck. Morgana is like one of the hardest to like characters in this game for so many reasons with regard to the plot and the world building. And yet like these little moments and stuff like that are like, but look, look, there's some really good heart here. It's a little late for all that, don't you think? Yeah. Of course we want to stay with you, too. <clears throat> uh, so... Well... I'm sorry I worried you guys. This is where I belong. My mind's all set. Okay. I'll make sure to work hard to pay my dues. It's too late to cancel our deal, got it? <laughs> Alright, I expect great things. I'd better make up for the time we wasted dallying around.
with us was destiny that's right encounter yeah hmm oh crap the last train's coming up oh wow it's late I must go as well let's continue this another time I stay at our place I'll arrange it See you all tomorrow. I'm gonna sleep. I'm exhausted. Man, this place is as drab as always. Hmm. Hey! Oh, oh, Sojiro with that. Oh, Sojiro. What's going on here? You brought over another girl? <laughs> Don't get any ideas. That's not what I meant. Anyway, don't break her heart, all right? Oh, my God. So, you found our cat and even took care of it. Yeah, too late. <laughs> Are there anything? <laughs> I'm the one who took care of you, though. <laughs> What's up? You seem happy. It's been a while since I've had a meal with so many people. Oh... Make sure you go home today before it gets too late, okay? I'm sure your parents are worried. That is sweet. It's fine if you don't want to go home either, you know. No, I'll go home. If my father suspects something, it'll be more difficult to change his heart, wouldn't it? Mm. I'll contact you again, so. Oh, right. Can we exchange contact info? Sure. Will you be okay on your own? If you need, I can go with you. <laughs> you belong here, don't you, Monachan? Yeah. Well, yeah. 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 Oh, okay. The matter's been settled. You'll be welcomed into his household. Okay. Excuse me? You won't officially be registered yet, but isn't that how things are with young people these days? Go prove your sincerity to him. You can do that, can't you? So, I'm not even allowed to decide where I will live, am I? Not only do you come home late, you even stayed out overnight without permission. I thought I had been clear about the friends you choose. Uh. They're, they're not like... I have my hands full right now with the company. Don't cause any more trouble for me. All right. Hello. Yes, it's fine. Go on. Hello? I need to discuss something with everyone. Can we all meet? Okay. Let's roll. That's horrible. It's that same fiancé guy, right? Mm hmm You know what's going to happen. Based on what Haru just told us, she'll be taken to his house on October 11th. Oh, dang. That's our deadline? That means our deadline is the 10th. Yeah. Wow. Wow. But if we trigger a change of heart in your father, he'll definitely be taken by the police. The label of a criminal's daughter will forever stick with you. Your current living situation may change as well. Mm -hmm. If I accept a happiness based on the misfortune of others, I'll be no better than my father. And to be honest, I've actually left a request on the Phantom Aficionado website before. Oh. She did so around the time we were mulling over who to target next. But the Phantom Thieves didn't make a move. That's when I met Mona-chan. I thought it was fate. I made my decision then. If the Phantom Thieves wouldn't act, I'd do it myself. Okay. Mental shutdowns, treasure, and finally, the change of heart. Our interests have come together. Very efficient. Moving things along quite quickly. Would you cooperate with us now? Of course. I should be the one cordially asking to be allowed on the team. From For sure. On, we may be going up against the culprit behind those mental shutdown occurrences. This will be different from our training in Mementos. You better brace yourselves. Okay. You're suddenly lecturing us? 
think you're too naive. Haru's barely a hair better than an amateur. She's awakened to her powers, but it's weak. Even her persona is lacking a solid Oh. Oh. Weak? Yeah, what do you mean? Really? She can transform at the very least, but to be frank, she may slow us down. A lot. I'm sorry for causing such trouble. Nah, don't worry about it. It's actually convenient for us to target that CEO. Check out this news blog. There's a lot of negative comments in regard to the Phantom Thieves. The names of obvious criminals have come up, so why haven't the Phantom Thieves acted yet? The way they're getting heated is on a different level. Yeah. Don't forget about the intel on the mental shutdown cases, all right? Of course. We'll get them both. All right. October, uh, 10th, was it? We're gonna change Okumura's heart by then. Cool. All the data, specimens, and sample medicine. They're all there inside that case. Let me know if you need anything else. Based on what you what I read in the finding summary you sent me, the results are truly amazing. We'll perform one final exam with our equipment. We'll be ready to treat Miwachan with it. Excellent. Then the rest is up to you. Ah, her new physician, probably at this point. So, this is the kid from your study, hmm? <laughs> yes, he's my little guinea pig. You certainly walked a dangerous line, but I'm sure you implemented the strictest of safety protocols. Please put some thought into the offer we discussed, will you? All right, I'll call you later. God, her outfit is killer. He's the doctor treating Miwa-chan. He just so happened to be a year ahead of me in college. I told him everything since I was so close to perfecting the medicine. Thanks. I have to thank you again. All this is thanks to you helping me with the clinical trials. Yeah, don't worry about it. I see. Okay. Then I guess I won't. From my tour of their medical facility and discussions I had with their development team, I'm confident this will be a success and they'll complete development on schedule. The final result will be out of my hands though. If I don't accept their offer, that is. Ooh. Mm. I was recruited. Oh, oh, hold on, hold on. He offered me the position of head of research and development at his hospital. Which means I'll have to close my practice. I start first thing next month. Unfortunately, Takami Clinic of Internal Medicine will be gone. Ah, and your patients? I'll urge my patients to transfer to that hospital, and I'll be sure to give them priority there. <laughs> you seem flustered. Are you really that troubled by it? Just kidding. <laughs> the part about being recruited is true, but I don't intend to close my practice. I kind of like being a general practitioner. I'll still work with them to develop new medicine, though. Once the medicine's perfected, I'll be able to see Miwa-chan and receive my reward. Her smile. Oh, I need to give you your reward, too. I'll think of something to give my little guinea pig for holding up his end of the deal. Oh, Our bond is going deeper. Alright, All we'll right. need to get points in the phone call. Or right about now. Anyway. You were really concerned when you thought I was going to close this office. I know you said it was for your entrance exams, but come on, really? I think it's about time you started being honest with me. It's okay. You can tell me. Hey. Why did you keep coming to me? Oh, shit! Oh, shit! All right! Let's go! Let's go, number three, baby! Why don't you tell me the truth about why you kept coming to me? Why do you come? I wanted to see you. Really? Really now? Why did you want to see me? Don't tell me you're in love with me or something. Oh! Oh, shit! No, we're going, we're going. We're going. Fine. Yeah, yeah, sure. Thank you very much. Now go on home before it gets dark. Or I can give you a special examination if you'd like. 
<laughs> no, it, it, it isn't a joke. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, we're, we're going for it. Oh, that, oh, that shut her down. She, she doesn't know how to respond. Wait, you're serious? Well then... Then I guess I owe you a serious answer too. I... Um... Actually, I changed my mind. I mean, you're in high school, you know? You're my little guinea pig from the clinical trials. And you're a kid who lied about his entrance exams to get unlicensed medicine. Falling in love with someone like that... Sounds perfect for you. Yep. It's just unheard of. I'm not sure how I'd proceed with a minor. <laughs> anyway, let's talk about it later, okay? Form a special relationship with Takumi. There's no turning back now. Hell yeah. Hey, it's me. Can we talk a little? Um, thanks for taking along today. I've got my drug in the hands of someone I trust. Everything's on track for the cure to go through. I should be over the moon, but now I've got one last problem. Turns out my little guinea pig caught an illness that's even more annoying and persistent than Crawford Endes. So did you! <laughs> Oh my god, I have to do it. I have to do it. I have to do it. Yeah, I guess it really is an epidemic. I should take my own advice. Oh, what a shame. Looks like a chronic case. Might even be incurable. Oh my god, that is the cutest shit. That is so fucking cute. I guess I better stick around for your treatment. This is so fucking corny and adorable. I love it so much. We're done with the clinical trials, but I'll still be expecting you to drop by. I'm your primary physician after all, and I'm the only one who can treat your condition, so... Okay, hanging up now. Good night. <laughs> her own, like, awkwardness finally caught up with her flirting. Uh, and she was like, oh shit, like, uh, 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 uh <laughs> oh, oh, that was that was amazing.